What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 137 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here with the robe wearing fitness fanatic, <laughs> mainstay Finn Steele. Hello. Oh, wait, and the voice. beard sporting cap wearing <laughs> Steve. Hello. Steve, I know that you're wearing a hat because obviously your hair yeah. is yeah. terrible because of lockdown. Mm. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, my hair is the same as well. I can't, cannot wait to get a haircut. Oh, yeah. I booked in 16th of April. Yeah. yeah, we're all going to, there's going to be an episode of this podcast. We're all going to be looking super fresh. Mm. We're going to have like great hair <laughs> and we're just going to look so pristine. And then when yeah. we go into another lockdown, we're going to look like fucking Bushman <laughs> again. Like me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. I, should have learned, I should have learned from the last lockdown. As soon as they said, right, we're going back into lockdown in the in the new year, I should have just mm. shaved it off. And then by now, it would look, you know, reasonable sort of length. Instead, it looks like a mob. So, mm. yeah, we'd, imagine it... if we'd have all shaved our heads, we'd have looked like, like a, a prison podcast. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you got you got to embrace the messy hair. Do what I do. That's my, my default look. Messy hair. I like it. Yeah, so you know, I, I can't even imagine what you would look like with no hair. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I, that's what I can say. If it gets any work, I'm going to shave it all off. Me, go on the podcast. Hello, I'm bald now. <laughs> we should do. We should get like a bold filter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do that. I like just do the video podcast with like a bold filter, like bold caps. Yeah, yeah. That'd be absolutely amazing. Be <laughs> that would be amazing. All right, so it's a brand new week, a brand new episode. Uh, everything's going great for us at the minute. Views are up and all that sort of stuff. And we appreciate everybody who listens to this podcast and interacts with us on all of our social media pages and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much to everybody who joined the uh, Fast Lane pre-show before the pre-show on Facebook and YouTube this past Sunday. It was really, really good. Tons of interaction, uh, which is exactly what you know we want. And you know we love you know interacting with you guys when you do. Um, you know, comment on our live videos. Uh, thanks to Powered 4 TV as well, once again. <laughs> God, delayed reaction or what? Yeah, it wasn't working, but I fixed it. It's fine. It wasn't working, so you just delayed it instead? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're still talking about fast lane, so it's fine. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, Finn, you put me off my stroke. <laughs> you're having, you having a stroke? You should call a doctor about that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was in full flow then. I was in full presenting mode then, and you just <laughs> I ruined it. Hot wheeled your way past and put me off. <laughs> my bad. That's it now. My rhythm's gone. <laughs> Thank you, everywhere. Anyway, everyone, <laughs> we do appreciate you coming to our live streams. Uh, obviously, we've got a very busy week coming soon for WrestleMania for um, both nights of NXT Takeover and both nights of WrestleMania as well. Take um, Takeover what? Which Takeover? Uh, I believe it's <laughs> it's stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and it's all shaping up to be be great. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, hanging out with you guys during the course of that week. Uh, yeah, so just stick with us. Loads of good stuff coming, but so much. Look forward to looking forward to this week. Uh, brand new round of the eliminator. It's going to be me versus Finn. Yeah, and Steve is going to be. The Quizmaster, which is, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be good. Yes, the reigning defending Steve's... champion, eliminated champion. Yeah. That's it. Steve's got his questions prepped. Yeah, certainly have. He <laughs> says you've got 50 questions. I don't think you're going to burn through them all this week. I bloody hope not. <laughs> well, hyping it up way too much. Like, if we, like, me and Finn could be out within five questions. Both of us would be like, oh, well. Well, that was that. Was that. <laughs> That's the aim. That's the aim. Yeah. Sudden death by the sixth question. Yeah. I need to try Both and make these just totally fucked. <laughs> I need to try and make these fifty questions last. Um, like, I think we're going to do like a best of nine series. So first to five, we we'll do it like that. Yeah, sure. I think. Yep. So, right. you know, as a minimum, they need to last five weeks. <laughs> these questions. So, we shall see. Yeah. We should see. If not, it's uh, yes. Yeah, back to the back to the drawing board. For you. <laughs> no, it's me coming round your house and picking them trivia cards up. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's fair enough. I did go all out before. I say all out. I just ordered them off Amazon. Yeah, yeah, I might do yeah. the same. To be fair, I bought the video game uh, questions like from Debenhams 
<laughs> <Are you> ready? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> like when they were in the sale. Yeah, they were like £1.50. I was like, I'm going to buy them and for a, a new segment that we might be able to do on the podcast. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, then, you know, it's become a huge hit. Everyone loves it. Bargain. Good stuff. Yeah. Finn, good to see you in clothes today. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You know, a lot made the effort, but show it on. I mean, that's, yeah. That's, that's I, think, it's a show. I mean, the, the, the theory that I came up with is that obviously you were getting so muscly that you couldn't didn't actually have clothes that fit you anymore. So you had to wear, you know, the robe <laughs> yeah. To, yeah. to make up for it. But now you've had to go out and buy new clothes. Exactly, yeah, pretty much. I did need mm. <laughs> I did need to go out and buy some more trousers, to be fair. God, that's... <laughs> Uh, stop, stop, is that stop, what it is? Bra- stop bragging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but now I'm surprised. Yeah, like, my, my getting time getting so, um, so thick and hard that I had to buy new trousers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's so big and thick, it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that what you said to the lady in the shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm getting too big and thick and really hard. I need some more I need some new trousers. He was like, "What? <laughs> I'm the court manager." <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're just like, "You heard what I said." <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Now that you're getting hench, at least you no longer have to shop at Baby Gap. You know, you can yeah. go to Bumble Gap, so yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. It's gone proud. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm still skinny. Yeah, that... It's always going to be skinny, but that's fine. I'm cool with it. You go did a little it. bicep flex, though, at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the show. Skinny fit. You know, you know, it's oh, the... I'm not sure just, there's any ladies. Just one, ladies, uh, just one to... ticket to the gun show, though. <laughs> it's yeah. very unimpressive what? when I do it like that, but yeah. It's the other one that's really impressive for other reasons. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> just one big Popeye arm. <laughs> <laughs> like Quagmire in that episode of Family Guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just, oh, my arm. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta look. Everyone loves us rambling at the beginning of the podcast. I think yeah. this is why people listen to it. Yeah, they turn yeah. off after the first like 10 minutes. They turn off after this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, well, I mean, I wouldn't blame them. No, we'll turn it off. <laughs> yeah, we just want to we hear them talking about stupid things. Exactly. Bring the dick jokes. Bring the dick jokes on. <laughs> <laughs> right so i guess we better crack on we've got a lot to talk about today mm, for sure um so we'll start as we always do what are we playing finn Steele, let's start with you what, what we got what you got uh well i had a few days off so i blasted through Ratchet and clank as far as i could which is really good i enjoyed the game a lot okay um not going to bother with the platinum um this one's trying to get through a lot of games right now i just don't want to spend ages because Pretty much, you have to play through it again. You have to grind out all the weapons, level them up to max, and I can't be bothered. So, I'm gonna... so it's a worthy platinum, though. I think it's a good one. I might go back to it. I've still got it installed on my PS5, so I might, you know, one day go back. Um, oh, you actually played through with the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, beat the story Did you enjoy mode. it though. Yeah, enjoyed it. It's great. Yeah. I can't believe you don't want to go back for the platinum. Is it just because you wanted to beat it and get it out of the way, and that's it? Pretty much. Yeah, get out of the way. We want something else. We want some, something else. Got a bunch of games in my library waiting to go. What's yeah. next? Uh, bloody Outer Worlds DLC. I bridged it up last ah. night and uh, did the first little bit, and yeah, really good. Really, really good. Cool. Uh, other than that, I've been playing some Forza Horizon 4. Or Forza nice. Horizon. Get it? Uh, 4. Um, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 we, do we have a tumbleweed sound effect? Um, we don't. I need to get one. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. Just, just, you know, driving around, doing some races. It's nice. Chill game. Um, I saw that it wouldn't let you have the license plate <laughs> that you wanted. Yeah, that's disappointing. Take a few points of that. Uh, let me have penis lol. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll change it to uh, Bum Fluff. It's on my license plate now. Um, Bum Fluff. Bum Fluff, yeah, solid. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't let you have what? Penis lol? Yeah. Yeah. No, right. How we, did, did you not use like num- like pen 1.5? I tried. It, you know, it affected everything. Yeah, Someone... I think they're onto it. You know, I think I think they, you know, because I, I think they just sort of put any sort of combination that could look like penis. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I wanted, so I made an ultimate team the other year. I wanted it to call. I wanted to call it Pen Island. Oh yeah. But, um, <laughs> but they, it wouldn't allow it. Even though so I had, it was like Pen Space Island, it, yeah. it still wouldn't. It still wouldn't allow for it. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, I. I um... I tried on pro clubs the other day for my player for the back of his shirt for it to say dicks out <laughs> and it wouldn't let because then my player name was Harambe um, so, and, it, <laughs> and it wouldn't let me but it did let me spell it D-I-X uh, ah, you trum- you've, you've, you've trumped FIFA there you've, yeah, you've, you've fuck you EA yeah. game yeah. over yeah. FIFA yeah, 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 yeah. Sports. Suck my, 
dicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mature. We're all we're all so we're mature. Bit, yeah, we? we're you know. Oh well, yeah, we're, yeah, we're all over thir- yeah. all over thirty, and we're going. Yeah, I tried to make a license plate called uh, Penis Lol and uh, a team called uh, Pen Island. So mature. So, so mature. mature. Yeah. We love it. Hey, um, look, I'm not. We're, we're not these people that want to get old quickly. No, no. You know, you've, 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 you've got no people. Fun. You've got people in the late twenties wearing slacks and loafers, and you know, just generally pretending to be an old person. Stop yeah. doing that shit because you'll die yeah. in the next three years, probably. Yeah. But, you are. You, you know, are. You are allowed in your thirties these days to wear skinny jeans if they suit you. Yeah. Wear t-shirts. Mm. Wear white trainers. Wear a hat. You know, yeah. you don't have to be old before your time. No, no. That's the point. Look, you, yeah, you, you haven't got to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, haven't, <laughs> you haven't got to go to the co-op in a suit anymore. No, no. <laughs> like, and you... that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you haven't got to go to the co-op in a suit and your war medals. All right, no. you haven't got to do it. Just... <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's twenty twenty one. You can wear skinny jeans and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, uh, I, do, I do think there is something quite cool about an old, and I'm talking like a proper old boy. Like, oh, like, yeah, like a real 70s old 70s or 80s, yeah. you know, like they're up at six each morning. They're in the Tesco Express for half six, in their suit and tie, getting their daily mail. I think that's, yeah. I think that's class. Uh, yeah, but that's fine. That's, that's okay. That's because, fine. You know, they've earned the right to do that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah! Not these hipsters wearing cords and and uh, like cream slip-ons there's, in there's their late twenties or there's early thirties. Nothing 30s. hipster about it. It's just people with like just wanting to be fifty before they're fifty. Yeah, I think oh, I'm yeah. so old. I'm twenty-five. But even when I'm, when I'm yeah, even when I'm fifty, I'm not gonna be fucking wearing beige. I don't know. I can still wear my dressing yeah. shirts, you know. Jeans, the shirt. way I'm going, by the time I'm 50, I'll have to wear a flipping tent, to be honest. But, uh... <laughs> You're like, uh, you have to wear a muumu. What's, yeah, uh, like Homer did. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so he could work from home. <laughs> Look at that. We're all working from bloody home anyway. Fuck there you go. Yeah. Sorry. Simpsons bit of again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Certainly I'd do. love them. To be honest, the muumu looks really comfortable. It does do repair. <laughs> Yeah, I love that good. it was a costume on Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it? I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, you could buy, uh, like, Moo Moo Homer, and it was just Homer in that Moo Moo. It was awesome. Okay. Nice. That was really good. Awesome. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> what are we talking about? Sorry, Finn. Um, <laughs> games again, that you've been playing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Forza and um, Ratchet and Clank are our main two. And, yeah, just started on Outer Worlds. And, uh, yeah, really good. Really enjoying Forza. I'm going to play that. I'm not sure I'm going to play the whole thing all the way through, but I'm going to jump in every There's now and then. There's a lot. There's yeah, a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's there, there is a lot of Forza, to be fair. I mean, and it never stops. <laughs> yeah. It's like you finish what you think you've done. You know, you've done 800 races. You find one that you've not done. You do it. 20,000 more races open up. So <laughs> you, that game will just last you forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Weird yeah. thing that happened on a bit of the earth. Remember last week I said it gave me just a bunch of random achievements. Um, so I jumped in the game normally, and I was just like, there was no tutorial, no anything. I just like dropped in the world map with a bunch of events unlocked. Oh, um, and I was level twenty one, and I had like only had like two cars unlocked, and none of the events were like completed or anything. And yeah, my my character was like an Indian woman. <laughs> I was like, I was just like, why am I an Indian woman? What's going on? Um, it was so weird. And then so in the end, I had to like find my safe file and delete it to start again. But I don't know where we got all that from. Like. I don't know. I know it like syncs your data from your Xbox, but I've never played Wars of War. Do I, do I get someone else's save file? And mm. uh, maybe maybe one of them emails that you get saying somebody has accessed your live <laughs> account from an, another country. Like, yeah, maybe true. it was maybe it was true in this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, it's so weird because just like nothing. Like I didn't have the achievement for completing the tutorial, which would be impossible if I'm level twenty-one. And it's just it's so completely random. Anyway, fix it. That now. is weird. Yeah, it's so weird. PT game is weird. Um, How cool is the uh, the first bit, by the way, with the uh, like the actual introduction to the game, where you get no. to drive and do all the the yeah. cool stuff? It's very cool. Really, it's really cool. Yeah, that's what made me want to play it more. I was like, okay, I'm I'm invested now. I want to see more of this. Yeah, yeah, getting dropped in the world and just having to go at it. It's like, oh, this is <laughs> yeah. the best part of the game. Yeah. Missing out on that bit at the start. That's yeah. That's yeah. Right. You don't want yeah. that. Yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a Findian woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
We allowed to say Finn Dina or are we cancelled now? Uh, <laughs> no, I just was, it was like, not, you know, nothing against being any woman, of course. Just like, I'm, you know. No, of course not. Yeah, I was like a generic white man in real life. But I, don't, I, don't know, I, wouldn't, I didn't think I would pick, <laughs> pick an, any woman in the game. But, you know, weird. Finn, don't put yourself down. There's nothing generic about you. <laughs> well, you know. You love me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. And hench. <laughs> you are hench. You yeah, are. I'm getting there. A skinny hench. Skinny I'm, glad, I'm glad you're enjoying Forza, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Skench. <laughs> it's one of those games I just sort of downloaded to test on my PC, see if I can run it. And uh, yeah, it went really well. Went a hell of a lot better than the medium did, that's for sure. And yeah. Did you finish it, the medium? Or yeah, no? yeah. Played the whole thing. Really good. Oh, you finished it. Okay. Yeah. Did we talk about that last week? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Mm. Slightly better intention. Oh, okay. Yes, Sonny. Uh, yeah, I've got all I set. can't remember. I can't remember week to week. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, you know, I only remembered earlier on today that the pre-show before the pre-show for Fastlane was Sunday just gone and not ages yeah. ago. Yeah, I know. I felt like while ago, didn't it? Yeah, to be fair. It's nuts. When you when you said it a minute ago, I was thought he's got that wrong. No, he actually hasn't got it wrong. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just feels like ages ago, and it wasn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think the reason I'm enjoying PC gaming at the minute is because I've got I'm finally got a setup so it's on my TV. So I can just sit down on my couch and play it without like hunched over my my you know. Uh, That's really good though. My keyboard, yeah, yeah, really fun. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at like buying game. The TV is where I can buy Game Pass. And I found this thing on eBay and you can get like a year for fifty for fifty five quid or something. Oh, and really? And I was looking at it and it's like instead of one code, they give you fifty two <laughs> one week codes all at once. <laughs> You've got to let sit there and copy paste it. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. I haven't bought it yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Is it, it is a good deal, to be fair. It's like half the price here. That is pay. good. Yeah. Make sure yeah. That, make sure they all they are going to work and they're not just <laughs> trial codes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Check. See, that's why I'm looking because obviously I got my um, my Xbox Series X through All Access. So mine's just got 24 months Game Pass with it. Wow. Mm, that's that's I haven't good. even got to well, worry about it. So, Which is awesome. Yeah, very nice. That is good. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Finn, what you, um, sorry, Steve, what have you been playing? Uh, I've not really had, had, had much chance this week. It's been a bit of a, a weird week, really busy, a uh, few things going on uh, as well. Mm. Um, so I was able to drop into Animal Crossing for a little bit the other day, nice. uh, which was as relaxing as always. Yeah. Really cool. Good stuff. Um, and then uh, myself and the king of the melts, Denzel Hook, uh, we, we had a couple of hours on Sea of Thieves. It was good. Uh, yeah, sunk a couple of boats this time. Had a do with a nice. few people. So Maybe it's um, me that's the weak link. <laughs> no, no. to be fair. Well, the thing is, we went out in a smaller boat because there was only the two of us. Oh, of course, and, yeah. You know, it's easier <laughs> to manoeuvre. The only downside with, obviously, the smaller boat is it's only got the two cannons compared to the four. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there was a couple of times where me and Darren were like, oh, we could have, you know, a third person here and we could have, you know, got done a bit better. But then you bring the third person in and you have to go up to the bigger boat. You have boat. to go to so, the bigger boat. Yeah. yeah, which is a shame. If you could have three people on the on the smaller boat, the sloop, then the uh, it'd, be, it'd be pretty good. You could, I think you'd be, a, we'd be a lot more successful, I think, in terms of sinking other people and not. Yeah, I, I think I I think so too. And we 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 did have that thought, didn't we? And that, uh, but yeah, then obviously, you know, matters. we discovered that you can only have two on the sloop, so yeah. sucks a bit. But it is what it is. Yeah. So um, that's that's been it really for me. Unfortunately, not been had much chance of uh, doing any gaming. But I've got some time off soon. Uh, hoping to jump back onto mm. Ori. Really want to get that finished. It's really uh, good. I started it before Finn, and then Finn's finished it before me. But yeah. not that it's competition; just saying, it's one of them things. Um, <laughs> I have more free time yeah, than I want... you. <laughs> a lot more free time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But um, yeah, I want to get back into that and finish that off. And uh, but yeah, we'll wait and see. Wait and see how I do. What fair enough. Uh, I've been playing a few different bits. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Nice, like a lot. I'm really, really back into it at the minute because, but Kay- Kaylee's basically done the like the the main bit of the game where like to get the credits to roll nice all oh, right Bloody hell. Dead ending. um <laughs> um there is but then it then the game really opens up so right. um you basically have to get your island level to three stars uh just so like a dog with a guitar can come and sing the theme song oh yeah while the credits roll okay slider that's um right. that's it yeah yeah and <laughs> <laughs> um and then you sort of you get given like the construction kit so you can really make your island look absolutely amazing so i'm working my way up to three stars at the minute i'm just super just super obsessed with it i just i love mm-hmm. playing it it's just so relaxing yeah you know 
you know, I've got a pretty stressful job, so it's, it's nice to 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 play that kind of thing and just go and you know lose yourself on this island for a bit of time. So, but I've been mm. jumping onto it pretty much every day and uh, just gen. Uh, generally really really enjoying it the one thing i will say tom looks a real fucking piece of shit (laughs) (laughs) and here's why right so if i'm under the i I own that island well i'm claiming it right fuck that guy because every time he wants somebody to move onto that island i have to pay him ten thousand bells for the land ouch okay so that's my my land so i own that guy so that guy should be paying rent to me yeah. All these houses that I've got on the island that I've paid ten thousand bells for, that then that's my land. I own it. Fuck you, Tom. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> I, I wanted to like have another room put on my house the other day, so I thought, okay, I'll go for this. And he's like, yeah, that's that's fine, but you have to have a loan of three hundred and forty-eight thousand bells. Ooh. I was like, what? Have you seen these other islands that you can fly to? They're just overgrown and shit. I'll just go buy one of them for 348,000 bells and rob him whatever you are, prick. <laughs> it's a new company. <laughs> he's a piece of, he's a robbing piece of shit. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that, you know, he gets away with the extortion that he does and somebody really needs to call him out. Do you remember a couple of minutes here. ago? Do you remember a couple of minutes ago when he said this game was relaxing? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like, he's the worst part of the game because you just can't well, believe shit, the he, is, he is a shit house. Yeah, he, he definitely he is, is. Yeah. But on the flip side of that, his two dipshit mates in the shop will buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's some weed, not that sort of weed. Clumps of weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're selling them weeds, not weed. Weeds. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Weed. Weeds plural, not weed. <laughs> 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 not, puff, not not puff puff pass no. like dig dig grow or whatever <laughs> same thing same thing <laughs> sure. choice, kids. yeah they'll, they'll buy anything unless yeah, you want they'll all buy right. anything they gotta, like pick up all the flowers and all the weeds and shit they'll just buy them I'm surprised someone hasn't like hacked the game so you can grow weed and sell <laughs> it's, it. n- it's Nintendo it's impenetrable yeah yeah it doesn't yeah true yeah don't do drugs by the way Finn just said that but I was yep. talking over him <laughs> Uh, but no, Wii's got modded, been modded to shit, so you can you can mod Nintendo stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, fuck you, Tom. Look, piece of shit. Um, <laughs> what else have I been playing? Uh, I've been playing some more Retro Mania Wrestling on Xbox. It's now officially out on Xbox. Yay. Um Still no real word on the um, PS4 and Switch versions. Hmm. Maybe never. Who knows? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Me Yeah, so they're, they're going to come out at some point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been playing some FIFA. Um, not enjoying it, if I'm being perfectly honest with oh. you. Um, I've sort of fallen out of love with it a little bit uh, because I just find that the... Like, I'm trying to do a career mode and I just find that the AI is a cheating piece of garbage, oh. to be honest. I just feel like they're rubbish for a lot of the match and then when they need to, they become uh, unbeatable. Yeah, I um, found that as well. I don't know whether there's been some sort of update. There's a few things that I've noticed. So obviously, I've not, I've not played it this week. But one thing that I've noticed uh, is exactly that. You know, I, I was playing QPR, went 2-0 up, and then they turned into uh, 2008 Barcelona, which mm. is a reference that's gone straight over Finn's head. Um, yeah. But But yeah, they just turned into the greatest team on earth. Luckily, I did still win. Another thing as well, I think the goalkeeper animations, something's gone wrong there. Because yeah. I'm I, I've scored a couple of goals where they've been going into the corners and the goalie's just put his arm up straight up like that. Yeah. So so and there was about four games in a row where I scored the same type of goal. So on, <laughs> on the on the angle, beat the defender, smashed it into the near post, into the top corner. Yeah. Like like four identical goals in four matches, and that's like you know, this, that's the sort of thing that happened in FIFA 96 on the Mega Drive. You yeah. know, it, it's frustrating. I, I, I get where you're coming from. I do. I have enjoyed FIFA myself this year, and I do want to try and at least finish one season. But I can see where you're coming from with that. Definitely. Yeah, it's just, it's just become not enjoyable. So much so, I've actually downloaded Madden to, to give that a go on Xbox. Oh, wow. mm. So I'll have to have a go with that, Steve. We'll play a game. 
Yeah, yeah, because I've, I've downloaded it and uh, yeah. not, not we'll, we'll be awful it at it together. So we'll end yeah, all four quarters nil nil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zero to zero, zero to zero. <laughs> Because we don't know what we're doing. Zero um, rushing yards, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Who knows? Um, another thing I've been playing um, is Monster Hunter Rise Ooh. on Switch. Very nice. nice. How is it? Uh, I bought I bought it yesterday, and it's really, really good. Now, uh, I played the demo uh, a week or so ago, and thought, yeah, this is good. I really like it. Read the reviews, and they were like, "This is, it's, you know, it's one of the best Switch games ever made." So I thought, wow. you know, what, I'm gonna, I'm, and that it was an easier jumping in point than other Monster Hunter games. So Fuck it was it. good for new people and you know veterans alike. So I thought, okay, that that sounds perfect to me. And you know, it's very wordy at the start. There's a lot, to, lot to take in, but you know, for no reason really, because they could literally just simplify and go, yeah, you pick up stuff, you can craft upgrades to your armor, and off you go then that would be better. But instead, you have to go around the houses and listen to everyone talk and all that stuff. But once it opens up and you get to start going to do quests and actually hunt monsters and stuff, um, the game actually makes a lot of sense. It's really good. Um, it looks beautiful. I mean, the Switch really is capable of things it probably shouldn't be capable of. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it makes some games just look absolutely astonishing. And this is one of them. And it's really fun to play. And now that I've, you know, I've sat and you know, read and paid attention to what you need to do and um, how to do it. It 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 just makes the game so good. And I I really recommend it. It's great. I'm excited. I lost a good few hours to it yesterday without even realizing, like, um, I think I started playing it and then like four hours went by and all of a sudden like Kay's home and I'm I'm like, Oh, okay. (laughs) Um, I'm like, I'd say I'd, you know, sit and talk to you, but I can't pause it while I'm fighting this monster. So <laughs> that's... just wait. Yeah, but yeah, it's that's just cool. really, really good. So I, I highly recommend it. Uh, plus, you can get it real cheap. Don't buy it from the Nintendo eShop. Why would you anyway? Yeah. Um, go and, like I got it for thirty four ninety nine, and it's forty nine ninety nine on the eShop. So cool. um, I got I got a steel book and two key rings with mine as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah. yeah. Cool. That's kind of my main issue with the PS4 version. It's like you jump in and you know, I had no idea what I was doing. And then there was a month of the game before and I just kind of got lost in it. And I was like, that's kind of, you know, yeah. I was the wayside. And I was like, okay, I'm playing something else. I yeah, I'm nice with you in there. You know, we, we, we tried to play it all together, mm-hmm. didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And it, it was just it was just a lot to take in. Yeah, you know, this is yeah. a lot more, yeah, this is a lot more compact. So like the, you know, like the hub before you, like where you pick quests up and stuff. Yeah. On the PS4 version, it's absolutely massive. Yeah. <laughs> And there's stuff just all over the place. And you're like, oh, this is just overwhelming. Yeah. And it was just incredibly overwhelming. Here, um, you've got different maps. Uh, there's different, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a few different maps where things take place in the game. And they're a lot smaller and a lot easier to get around because you've got a dog that you can ride on this time and oh, yeah. get around places a lot quicker. And you can climb up mountains using like a grappling hook type thing they, that they call a wire bug. Nice. Um, so they've just, they've made, tweaks to just make the game more accessible and more enjoyable and just easier to play and understand awesome yeah so i highly recommend it if you've got a switch um it's well worth a look cool cool yeah good stuff i'll add it to my wish list definitely add it to your wish especially why you can get it so cheap as well yeah yeah. because nintendo games are outrageously expensive usually (laughs) But uh, yeah, this one not so much. But yeah, that's, that's, that's pr- I've been playing a few other bits, I think, but I I can't even remember. The week has gone so quick, and my memory is slowly dying with how mind-numbingly boring it is to not be able to go anywhere and do anything. Yeah. Uh, that I just can't remember what I'm doing week to week at the minute. Yeah, same. So yeah. mainly, mainly Animal Crossing and a bit of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Yeah. And Monster Hunter, of course. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But it, I'm, you know, I'm still enjoying gaming. I really enjoy, um, you know, when I do. Oh, I've been playing the Avengers. So I have been playing the Avengers oh, as well. Yeah. I'm, I've almost fi- I've almost finished the story. I don't even know how I forgot. But yeah, um, I've almost finished the story. Nice. I'm ready to go and do the um, DLC. So I'm I'm excited for that. Sweet. But yeah, I'm still really enjoying gaming. Just it's, you know, it's it's getting it's really is getting me through this. Yeah, big time because it's. You know, it's easy to, you know, to just sit around and do nothing all day, but you slowly you will lose your mind. You know, if I didn't have gaming throughout this entire thing, I think I would have just totally gone mental by now. <laughs> yeah, that's my life in a nutshell. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it, you know, it, it's true. I know it sounds, you know, I know it sounds stupid, but, you know, it, it is true. You know, we can't go anywhere yeah. and do anything else. So you may as well go and do stuff in a, in, in a different world, you know? Yeah. Mm. And that's what, that's what gaming does for you. Absolutely. I mean, going back to what you were saying about how, you know, relaxing, apart from Tom not being a piece of shit, <laughs> yes, how relaxing yeah. Animal Crossing is, it didn't, it, you know, without going into my life story, I had a pretty bit of a bad day on Tuesday with various things and got got quite stressed out with a few things and actually I think to myself, do you know what, If on my lunch break I should have just sat and played Animal Crossing and just chilled mm. out. Yeah. But even yeah. if it's just for like half an hour, 45 minutes, and then I'd, I'd have prob- probably been in a different frame of mind for the afternoon then, so... Uh, I need to remember that I have that at my disposal. <laughs> it yeah, sounds uh, daft, but it is that relaxing. No, that can can alter your mood, you know, in a in a good way. Definitely, yeah. and it can take your mind just completely away from you know stuff that's Everything. going on because you can yeah. just lose yourself. And again, that that's the beautiful thing about the Switch. You know, it is so accessible. Just mm. pick it up and play it, and take your mind off things for an hour or so. Mm. And you know, it can really, you know, change your mood for the day. And that's the that's. Why gaming is um, the best medium out there. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So we do actually have a bit of gaming news this week. I'm not going to forget the segue into it. I'm going to jump straight into the Eliminator. So, Finn, I'll go to you there with the gaming news. Cool. So I think you spoke about it a bit last week, but now the nine PS4 games that they appear at Sony at least for free are out. Are out there yep. in the wild. And they are Res Infinite, Abzu, the Witness, Enter the Gungeon, which is really good. Um, Subnautica, Moss, uh, Play for Blazing VR, Astrobot VR, Paper Beast uh, for VR, and Thumper, which is both VR and you know played normally. Um, the nine excellent games right there. Well worth checking out. Astrobot probably one of my favorite VR games. Uh, Moss as well is excellent. Uh, Enter, the, Enter the Gungeon is a really really good roguelike, uh, like uh, snares looking, you know, old school looking mm. graphics, but really really good. Um, mm. And yeah, it's just worth checking out. They're completely free, so why the hell not play them? Download yeah, I've, them. I've added them to my library yesterday. Yeah. Um, Res Infinite, I didn't even realise that was on there, to be honest, and that's um, that's a VR as well. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very interesting, interesting. Awesome. Thumper's good. awesome. Thumper is so good. If you've got a VR and you haven't played Thumper, you need to play Thumper. It's, I play that. Um, it's insane. Like yeah, it, it looks it. it's just so immersive. Wear headphones. I can't tell you enough. <laughs> wear headphones because it's it's basically like a rhythm game. Yeah. Um, they call it rhythm violence, which is weird. But <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a cool it, game. It's so ridiculously hardcore when you're in it because the music is just pounding in your ears and the game is coming at you at such a you know such a ridiculous pace and it's like whoa you take the headset off and you're like shit <laughs> it does nuts yeah but it's such a great game i can't i think it's one of them ones that sort of goes under the radar a little bit because it's not beat saber and you know all that sort of stuff but it's such a good game and while it's free no brainer yeah absolutely i'll, I'll boot up my ps4 later and download that that'd be cool yeah definitely do play it in vr and report back to me it's so good awesome that's my own work for this week i'll do it <laughs> um what else we got? So I think it was uh, I said out yesterday there was a leak about Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC that's coming. Okay. Um, because that's what we need more, you know, more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> this game, that's one that people were complaining about. You know, the game wasn't big enough. Uh, two small people are beating it in like two hours. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here it comes. Um, got leaks via a trophy list. Interestingly. Uh, okay. Yeah. So expect that some time in a few months. Good times if you're a Assassin's Creed fan. And need more Assassin's Creed in your life for some reason. Yeah, I mean, if you've not already spent 19,000 hours beating Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, we're going to throw a bit more at you. Yeah, absolutely. There it is. I mean, credit to Ubisoft here. They do. They are really giving people their money's worth for that, for the season passes that they buy for Assassin's Creed games these days. But Christ alive, <laughs> there is a lot of content nowadays. There's loads and loads and loads. It's insane. I miss like the days where you just like... Yeah, the guy from the first one, can't remember his name, Alta here, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. And he got Etsy yeah. too. Yeah, just jump on a horse, jump off some buildings into some hay, and uh, stick a knife in people's necks. There you go, that's Assassin's Creed. Le- <laughs> yeah. Learn some history. You know, that's it. Yeah, good stuff. I enjoy those games a lot. So, so good. Assassin's Creed 2 is still the best Assassin's Creed. Agreed. Yeah, our old trilogy with Etsy is excellent. Yeah, the Etsy stuff is the best. It's so, it's so good. Good stuff. 
Um, it's, I know a game to look forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys will be, no doubt. Uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator is a real game. Oh, and it's got a free demo coming next week. Fuck off. Exciting stuff. <laughs> this wasn't mentioned. <laughs> no games of the month. Actually, I think it's next month because it's next week. I've got my own lawn mowing to do. I don't need to piss and simulate it on the computer. <laughs> yeah. It's developed by Skyhook Games, who made Train Simulator, another exciting game. Uh, and yeah, let you. There, you know what? There, there are people that really enjoy these simulator yeah. games, but I yeah. don't get it. I really don't understand. I mean, people you know, won't understand why I play FIFA or whatever. <laughs> But, you know, I really don't get these train games. I mean, I, oh, it's I don't get it. I FIFA's don't. slightly different. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest selling game for the national sport of this country. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's okay. a little bit different to like train simulator and goat simulator and farm simulator, all that sort of but, stuff. But hey, look, at least goat simulator is tongue in cheek. It's ridiculous. funny, yeah. yeah. Like farming simulator goes deep. Like, Does it? dude, it is fucking nuts. Like... You like the DLC was like John Deere, like, like tractors. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> it's, it, people love it. I've played it and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's too, it's boring as shit. It really <laughs> is boring. But I, I, that's what I just don't get it. What does Train Simulator even do? Do you, do you like drive trains or? I, I guess. Because I know there's I, a bus I, I, I simulator think... as well. Yeah, I think yeah. it's you know super deep like the other games. You like put all sorts of different trains and you can control everything. Why? I don't know. Right. That's where you were tired. Train it. driver, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Eighteen wheeler. Eighteen wheeler. What a game that was on the Dreamcast, man! I loved Fucking it. Great game. <laughs> See that again was an was an arcade game of driving a truck and mowing other cars off the road to get to your destination in time. Not a sim. Not a sim at all. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, yeah. but this... so Lawn Mowing Simulator's coming out. Yeah, we've got a demo next week on Xbox One, Series X, and Two S, and all that stuff. Um, I'm yeah, download it. Xbox is so next week we're going to talk about Lawn Mowing Simulator demo, yeah? Yeah, completely. Yeah. Um, we should all play it 100%. Yeah, if not PC, I'll get that download for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm PC gaming nerd now. That's what, that's, you know, yeah. that's what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you can drive actual real life. Uh, tractors in game, tractors, uh, lawn mowers. So you know, fun times, I guess. So it's it's like a sit on lawn mower. It's not like a fly mow or something. <laughs> like you push it, yeah, push it along. It seems, yeah, it seems like it's you know a drive proper drivable, you know, lawn mowers. But what about push along lawn mowers? <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, maybe, maybe. I'm sure they can create some sort of generic looking human to push a. Well, all you need is a pair of hands, just like a pair. Of, if it's like first person, it's yeah, a pair so. of hands on the the thing, and like they have to pull the cord thing to get it to go. If it's a petrol one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why Can't are we talking hard. about this? Why? I don't we'll, know. We'll, 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 we'll play it next week and talk about it in depth. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Balan Wonderland was a game. Is a game made by uh, some of the developers developers behind Sonic Team and got mm. games like Nights into Dreams. Yeah. Um, the boss, find the boss fight contains very heavy flashing images and you know, could trigger epilepsy, so that's fun. Um, there's a lot of complaints about that online. And this is a game that just goes, you know, it hasn't been reviewed well, people don't like it, it's very basic. And, you know, more and more bad stuff keeps coming out about this game. So, yeah, don't I have it. seen a lot of negativity surrounding it. Um, <laughs> yeah. it looks, I feel like it's like been rushed out. Yeah, I mean, it looks, you know, fine, just looking at it from, you know, trailers and things, but. Yeah, apparently it's just super basic and just super boring. Um, but apparently developers have acknowledged, acknowledged it and there's a day one patch coming, I guess. That's going to fix it. But even so, why is that in the game in the first place? Very strange. Why yeah. do you think of these things? Bizarre. It's like the Cyberpunk thing. Like this bit in Cyberpunk, like when you go into, I guess, like a sort of VR thing that had like VR, you know, flashing lights before, you know, it triggers, which apparently triggers people, people's epilepsy. It's like, why is why would you not think of this? <laughs> Good. Well, you know, why yeah, are they yeah, that's not great. Also, remember Cyberpunk? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was waiting for the PS5 version. You know, I'll put to an, I need to announce it that it's coming at some point. But I guess they're just trying to fix it, I guess. It's going to take them a while. All that hype <laughs> for it to just go down like an old man's erection. <laughs> yeah. It just disappeared. No one's talking about it anymore. Like a couple months later, it's just gone. 
No one cares anymore. Yeah, just yeah. No one, literally, no one cares. Can't even buy it digitally on the PlayStation Store. I don't think still. <laughs> nope. Uh, so strange. You can buy it physically if you want to. I don't know why you want to. But, yeah. Great. It's it's a good game as well. It's just broke. It's broken. Yeah, I'm sure. Hopefully, eventually, you know, CD Projekt Red, Red is a good company. Um, it just of needs course, to they are. Figure out their shit before they release it. Yeah, I'm sure just, they will. They, they, they've already spent thirty years making the game. Just <laughs> take a bit more time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I think yeah, the PS5 anyway, that, version will be anyway, that, a lot better. Oh, well, that game's on its ass anyway. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> um, and the other thing I've got isn't strictly about gaming, but it involves a gaming company. Um, so a while ago, there was a rumor going around about Razer. Um, oh, you get developers like PC gadgets and things. Mm-hmm. Um, are developing a smart face mask. Because why not, I guess? And now I think I've announced sure. that it is, it is, in fact, a real thing that exists. Um so yeah, it glows because of course it does, uh, and it has apparently has like built-in microphones. There's like a fancy filter on it, and um, yeah, it's a bit weird. And if you want to look like an absolute dork walking around with the glowing face mask, now you can. Uh, Shout out to Mustafa Ali. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it just looks like a super weird thing. I don't know why this exists. You know, face masks are fine as they are, but I guess if you want to look cool. Quote, yeah, I mean, nobody actually <laughs> wants to wear a face mask. Like, no. We're all doing it just to protect everyone else. Um, yeah, the last thing I need is to, you know, be walking around like Mustafa Ali's former gimmick. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just don't need it. Plus, you know it's going to cost an absolute fortune as well. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Just, yeah, I guess they're cashing in on stuff they shouldn't be cashing Coronavirus. in Coronavirus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bizarre. But, I mean, it looks... Decent. I wouldn't want to walk around in it, but you know, it's a cool looking thing. I wouldn't want to be seen in public. With so, is this it, but... available to buy now? Is it or? Um, not yet. They're still developing it. Apparently, but COVID will be gone by the time <laughs> this comes out. Well, you say that. It says it could be gone like in a few months last year, but hey, here we are. Yeah, true, true. Uh, but yeah, if you want to buy that? It's coming, I guess. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Ready? Slow news week. Um, just um, just a quick one. If you are, if we see you <laughs> walking around wearing this mask. We, will laugh. we are going to shout nerd at you. Yeah, we're going to point and laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I'll nerd. give you a stunner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll Bang. do that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it for gaming news, I reckon. Yeah, I so. mean, um, Sea of Thieves one of after. Oh, yeah. So yes. Good. Well deserved. Yeah, best, best... Uh, best evolving game or something like yes, that. Yes, that was it, yeah. Yeah, I know when yeah. it first so... came out, it reviewed, you know, not great. But about there's so much to it now. It's like, oh god, it's yeah. it's leaps and bounds what it was when me and you first played it, Finn. Yeah, all that time ago. Um, it's just yeah, it's above and beyond that now. Great game, well deserved. So I've not, to be honest, I can't say I've actually had a look at what else won gaming BAFTAs because I didn't even know that was just, a thing. To be honest, forgot you know that what? it was a forgot that it even happened until uh, Sea of Thieves tweeted about it. But yeah, congratulations, Sea of Thieves. We yeah. applaud yeah. you. Well done. Yes. Oh, apparently, Hades, Hades, the game that everyone loves, is taking the best game after. Well done. Congratulations, Hades. Did yeah. I tell you I played it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was last week, yeah. Yeah, really good game. Really good game. Well deserved. Um, so interesting as well. It's like that. That is a game that's sort of different to anything I've played. So you basically just start at the beginning of the game every time you die. Yeah. But very like, you yeah. keep the stuff that you've collected and you upgrade yourself. And then you go on and take on the challenges again. It's so rewarding. Yeah, I really want to play that. Like insanely rewarding. You'll Finn, you'll really, really like it. Yeah, no doubt. I don't on PC now. <gasps> yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, a bunch of rewards mm. got handed out. Uh, Last of Us Two won a bunch. Um, mm. Animal Crossing won some. Uh, what did it win? Best multiplayer or something? Best online game or something? Something like that. Oh yeah, won the title of multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, best multiplayer game. I've only just started venturing into the multiplayer stuff, like having like Kay come over to my island and my nephew as well, like just you know sort of sharing resources. It's actually really, really good and works really well. Awesome. Because so, there you go, it's a whole, uh, full list here. So animation went to Last of Us Part Two, uh, artistic achievement went to Hades, audio achievement went to Ghost of Tsushima, best game was Hades, uh, best Richard's game was Sackboy, a big adventure, interesting, nice. Uh, best debut game was Carrion, which I'm not familiar with. Uh, oh, I have played that. It's really good. Yeah. Um, it's on Game Pass, but it's so... Oh. Basically, it's weird. <laughs> Super weird. So basically, you start as like... You're like a monster, basically. All right. 
um, that uh, it evolves with uh, when you eat people. So you kill people, you get bigger. Um, mm. It's really, really good. If you, yeah, it's on Game Pass. So definitely, definitely check that out. Sweet. I'll add it to the list. Awesome. Uh, and yeah, best evolving game. See so of these. There's family game. It's Sackboy. Um, mm. A game beyond entertainment. What that means is Animal Crossing. Uh, game design is Hades. Multiplayer is Animal Crossing. Music went to Spider-Man Mark Morales. Cool. Nice. Uh, yeah. Narrative went to Hades. Uh, original property went to Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition. Nice. Good game. Uh, performer in a leading role went to Laura Bailey from The Last of Us. Uh, performer in a supporting role went to Logan Cunningham from Hades. Nice. Uh, technical achievement went to Dreams. And EE Game of the Year that is, is uh, The Last of Us Part 2. He nice. is a uh, mobile phone network then. Oh, cool. Yeah, so they're both a game of the um, Sweet. I'm guessing the, that one, that Animal Crossing one, the gaming beyond entertainment, did you say? Uh, yeah. I think that's it, probably because it's sort of of the the impact it had on culture when it was sort of uh, been around since last year. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, mm-hmm. It sort of um, surpassed like gaming in the general sense. Mm. Awesome. Uh, so I think we should have a round of applause for all the the gaming BAFTA winners. Some good stuff in there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Lots of good stuff. Congrats to all those guys. Well deserved. Excellent. Good times. Love when a Ghost of Shima wins loads of weird awards. Like <laughs> never game of the year, just like best grass sound sample. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ghost of Ghost of Tsushima. Best pan pipe used in a video game. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> because we need to give it an award, but we, you know, we, we don't feel like it deserves these other awards. Yeah. <laughs> to give it, give it, you know, to make up an award for it, yeah. 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 And the uh, the winner of this year's Ghost of Tsushima award goes to... <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> <laughs> They're making a film, aren't they? Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, cool. cool. That won't win any awards either. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Best sword use in a movie. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's time for a brand new round. Finn is the reigning defending champion, and Steve is now the quiz master. It's Sonny versus Finn in the Wait. Eliminator. Eliminator. Uh, healthy gun. There it is. I've moved it. I've moved everything around. I can remember where I put it. <laughs> that was seamless. It's seamless, yeah. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So I've been studying. I've got the uh, WWE Encyclopedia right here. I've been studying. Oof. I dug it put out. Put that, that shit down now. That ain't going to help you, mate. Trust mm. me. I had a um... from Murray, sweet. <laughs> cool, okay. So, little, dis- <laughs> little, di- little disclaimer before I start. If any, of, if any of the answers are wrong to this that I give... Don't blame me. Blame the internet. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Moving That's on. Not, the internet gets blamed for everything these days, anyway. So yeah. Um, this is exciting. Um, you know, I've not been in the in the uh, the hot seat the hot for seat. answering questions. That's no. it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Same rules as before. You've each got five lives. You both ready? I'm ready. Yep. Both got your pens and paper or whatever you're yep. using. Yep, yep. Your quill and ink. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Just like, <laughs> hang on a minute. Sorry. I need to, to ink hang my... Uh... Hang on. <laughs> All fancy rock comes across. What noise? It's always like a scratching noise. That's what you'll hear yeah. on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like... My um, answers are on my scroll. <laughs> <laughs> that's what those people who wear uh, brown slacks and cream loafers, that's what they'd do. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing now. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. First ready. question. Yep. Finn Steele, play the music. Good man. He's beat me to it. <laughs> nice easy one to start off with then. Who was the first WWE Universal Champion? Was it A, Brock Lesnar, B, Roman Reigns, C, Finn Balor, or D, Seth Rollins? I told you it was easy. Nice <laughs> easy one for you there. Sonny, what do you have? Uh, Finn Balor. Finn Steele, what do you have? I also have Finn Balor. I wish the camera there is. Let's not waste time. You are both correct. Yay. I took my hand off. There he is. <laughs> I took my hand off the mouse. <laughs> play, the, play the ding. I like looking for a mouse. Where's the mouse gone? There he is. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Nice easy start to bed us in there. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Question number two. <laughs> what time period is the game L.A. Noire modelled after? Mm-hmm. Is it A, the 1930s, B, the 1940s, C, 1950s, or D, the 1960s? Five seconds. Okay, yeah. Pens down. Sonny Garner, what do you have? Um, I went for 1930s. Mm. Okay. Finn Steele? I went 1950s. I can't like that anymore. There we go. I can reveal that the answer is the 1940s. You are both oh. wrong. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> I actually wrote 1920s before you'd even reeled off the answers, thinking 20s? I was right. But Jesus. that's a that's a that's a. I oh know, yeah. <laughs> um, that was a that's a tough one. People in the horse and carts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got a pipe at the. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's been a crime. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. Um... <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so you both lost a life there. You're both on four. Okay. Where's Question the, number three. Wh- where's the life loss noise? Uh, oh, you did it, didn't I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did it? Yeah, I did it. Oh, oh, okay. did it. He did it. I did it. Question number three. Who is officially the first WWE champion to be born after the first WrestleMania? Does that question make sense? Yes. Yeah. So the first person to be the WWE champion after the first WrestleMania. Is it A, Roman Reigns, B, Dean Ambrose, C, Kofi Kingston, or D, Seth Rollins? Damn. I thought it was. Shit, it's not who I thought it was either. (laughs) Five seconds, guys. Total guess. Pens down, please. Sonny Garner. Uh, I went for Seth Rollins. Okay. Finn Steele? Eh, eh, eh. I always went for Seth Rollins. The answer is Seth Rollins. Hey. Well done. I went for that the was a guess. guess. <laughs> that was a big time guess because I thought it was Randy Orton. Yeah, I, I did. Was... <laughs> so <laughs> the, fir- the first WrestleMania was uh, March 1985 and Seth Rollins was born in 1986. And he was mm. the first guy. Uh, yeah, I was running off the... Um... The thing of Randy Orton being the youngest WWE champion at the time, mm. and I think that's just what was embedded in my head. Um, but yeah, he's obviously way old, he's older than me by a few years, so yeah, that makes yeah, he's in, sense. His, he's in his forties now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. okay. Question number four. I'm losing track. Yeah. Next, four. Que- next, next question. Next it's question. hard being the host, right? It is, right? Yeah. You've, you've, yeah. you've uh, a little bit more appreciation for you, mate. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Who was the first person to pin Mr. Perfect in WWE? Or it would have been WWF back then. Worldwide is it, Federation. Is it A, Randy Savage, B, Ultimate Warrior, C, Shawn Michaels, or D, Hulk Hogan? Okay. Pens down. Sonny. Uh, I went for Ultimate Warrior. Finn Steele? I went for Hulk Hogan, brother. The correct answer is D, Hulk Hogan. Hey. Point for me. Yana, you have lost a life. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Good questions. Tough round. Yeah, good question. Mm, maybe a bit too hard. I don't know. No, 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 no. Come on, I was asking questions about WrestleMania 2 that none of you would have known (laughs) without a guess. I think it was Hogan just because he won everything back in the day. Yeah, Yeah, I I went with Warrior because I'm pretty certain I've seen Ultimate Warrior beat Mr. Perfect, but um, it was a guess, complete guess. Yeah, same. Cool. Okay, next question. This is an open-ended answer. No No multiple choice. What is the name of the final track in all Mario Kart games? I 
and stop working. That's not what the track's called. <laughs> it's not. Hands <laughs> down, if they are working. Sunny Garner. Uh, Rainbow Road. Finsdale. Uh, yep, yeah, Rainbow Road. I'll know yeah. that, because where I work is Rainbow Way. I was like, oh, they could have called it Rainbow Road. That would have been awesome. Oh, that would have been, cool. been way cooler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you are both correct. Hey. Well done. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, I've lost count of how many questions there is, so I'm just going to keep saying next question. <laughs> well, that, yeah. that, was, that was question five. That was question five. Look, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep a tally. I've okay. got three lives left. Finn has four lives left. Finn has four. That's correct. Yeah. Um, next question. Eight. Question number six. What year was the first Call of Duty game released? Ooh. 2002, 2003, 2004, or 2005? Pens down. Sonny Garner, what is your answer? Um, I've gone for 2002. Okay. Finn I, Steele. I also have gone for 2002. That's a game old. The correct answer, according to the World Wide Web, is 2003. You have both um, lost a life. So close. Wow. It's so far. Because the first one was a PC game, wasn't it? Just Call of Duty. Yeah. I think it did come to consoles as well, I think, PC originally. Because there, there, there was versions of it on the PS2, but it wasn't as good yeah. as the PC version at the time. I think you're right. Like yeah. a watered-down version. You are mm. correct, yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> that was a tough mm. one. These are good questions. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was trying to, you know, because you two are very knowledgeable on the subject matter. So I thought, I don't want to make it too Apparently easy. not. Could be here all day. Well, <laughs> like you say, it's different being the host. It's different being in the hot seat as well, answering the questions. Mm. But I think you'll both get this one. So let's go with this one. Question number seven. Open-ended. Which two wrestlers main evented the final WCW Monday Nitro? I don't know this one. It's only one know this one. Was in 2001, so have a think around who was wrestling back then, and who could have main evented the final Nitro. It was always be something Peter Lane. Pens down, please. Wait. No. Pens hey, down, pens son. down, nerd. Pens down. Pens down. Pens down. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Sonny Garner. If I remember rightly, um, the main event was for the WCW title and it was Scott Steiner versus Booker T. Finn Steele. Um, the only one I could remember was the one that was on um, in the Night War or after the Night War, like WWE, ETW, which was Buff Bagwell versus um, and Booker T. That was the first. And probably the last, because it didn't last like a week or two. <laughs> WWE, ETW. Was it wait? Was what was the question? WCW Nitro. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just that's the only match I can think of. Okay. Okay. The correct answer is Sting versus Ric Flair. You are oh. both wrong. Oh. So that was Sonny, the main event. That was the the match that you wrote down was the first match of the night. Oh. Okay. I, I knew that Sting versus Ric Flair was a match, but I thought that was sort of midway through the night. No. So now it might have been because Shane McMahon closed the closed the show, so that makes sense. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm, I've got one life left. You do have one life left. Two to one. You do. Finn, so you round, have two lives left. Okay. Question number eight. Which video game has racked up over one billion dollars in lawsuits? Oh. Multiple choice. You'll get it from the multiple choice, I'm sure. Is it A, Manhunt, B, Resident Evil, C, Grand Theft Auto, or D, Doom? Down. 
things down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Um, it was one, uh, there was a couple of choices there for me, but it, uh, I felt like it had to be GTA. Finn Steele, what have you gone for? I think GTA is a smart move, but I've, I know it was comfortable by the time, so I've gone for Manhunt. Yeah, see, I was going to go for Manhunt. Yeah, like that was GTA for sure. I remember how controversial that was at the time. So, yeah, weird, yeah. Right? Very, big time, yeah. Very. The correct answer is C, GTA. Oh. I was worried for a second, thinking it was too obvious. <laughs> that's why I didn't go for it, because that's... that's <laughs> but yeah, Manhood, makes man. sense. Holy shit, what a game. Yeah. What a weird game. I can't believe there was a sequel, wasn't it? On the Wii or something? <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think something like that, yeah. You can stab people with your Wii, mate, sweet. Yeah, not, not quite the game for Nintendo, that, is it really? <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you have both lost four lives, so mm -hmm. one life each remaining nice cool okay question number nine mm -hmm. which game gives your character the name of douchebag <laughs> is it a south park the stick of truth is it b call of duty modern warfare <laughs> c spider-man or d sea of thieves it's got to be that, surely. Pens down. Sonny? South Park, the stick of truth. Finn Steele? It's got to be South Park, surely. Correct, it is South Park, <laughs> the stick of truth. That's a bit. This is... Good game. I love that. <laughs> Great. Imagine game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Hey, <laughs> douchebag, get on the field! <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be, couldn't it? Probably, you know... Probably is an insult that's thrown, but it probably wouldn't be the character's uh, full name. <laughs> <laughs> cool. How are you both feeling? One life left each. It's tense. Uh, I feel this is a, a really good round of questions. Thank you. Yeah, really well good. mixed. And they're tough as well. Yeah. Yeah. I felt I had to, just, you know, because cause you two. Yeah, no, there we go. Mm, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go for it. Okay. Question number 10. I believe we are. Yes, we are. Which WWE Hall of Famer was driving the pink Cadillac carrying the Honky Tonk Man, Greg Valentine and Jimmy Hart at WrestleMania 6? Is it A, Jake Roberts, B, DDP, C, Jesse Ventura, or D, Glenn Jacobs? Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, I have gone for DDP. Finn Steele? The game continues, I too have gone for BANG! DDP, it's me, it's me. The correct answer is DDP. Ah, that was well, guessed on my part. <laughs> but since I think the back of my head was telling me DDP, I don't know what it was. But yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Good stuff, it's tense. It is. It's tense. <laughs> like right, camping. Next, qu ne next question. Next question. At seven hours and twenty minutes, which includes the pre-show, which Oof. WrestleMania is the longest in WrestleMania history? Is it thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, or thirty-five? They all feel like seven hours. They do at the minute. <laughs> so 32, 33, 34, or 35? Correct. Five seconds. Total guess. Yeah, same. It's so all gone. fucking long. What is your answer? 33. Mm. Finn Steele. It could be a, I've gone for 32. But yeah, it'll, they all feel way too long. So long. Mm. Okay. Seven hours. Jesus. Okay. Interesting. Interesting answers. So the correct answer is D thirty-five. You both ah. lose a life, and you have both got no life remaining. Mm. Meaning, we go into sudden death. Mm. Wow. Seven okay. Seven hours, twenty minutes. Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. 
ridiculous. That's like an entire day. WrestleMania is so fucking long. It's <laughs> like a whole shift at like, work. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, a whole, work, shift at, whole shift at work if I take away my lunch break. Yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Right. Okay. It goes, definitely goes quicker than a day at work, though. I don't know. When it gets to like half past five in the morning, it's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that one where Roman Reigns and Triple H was the main event, and it just felt like forever. I, I yeah. think that is the one. I think it's that one. <laughs> oh, no, it? no, it wasn't. Thirty-five, I think, is Reigns versus Brock, where Brock f fived him about eighteen times. <laughs> ah, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Jesus wept. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so no lives remaining. So this question, it's. Basically, whoever is closest wins. I like it. Okay. okay. So, so have you actually set. prepared sudden death questions? I have prepared sudden death questions. Very nice. Holy shit. So, I think given that Finn is the champion, he gets the advantage. So, Sonny, you tell me your answer, and then Finn either says higher or lower. Does that oh. make sense? Okay. Good. Okay. Not yeah. Okay. That way? Yeah. Okay. So. Sudden death question. To date, how many Hell in a Cell matches have there been? Mm. Now, to narrow it down for you, there's been more than 30, wow. less than 50. I'll give you five or six more seconds to think of your answer there, Sonny. Okay. Okay. What is your answer? 36. Finn, do you think there have been more or less Hell in a Cell matches? Um, I'm going to go for more. Okay. The correct answer, and taking a 1 0 lead in this new round of the Eliminator, is. Finn Steele, the correct answer is 45. <laughs> Hey, 45. 45. Bloody hell. That's 45 insane. Hell in a Cell matches. Finn, out of curiosity, if you were to hazard a guess without knowing the answer, what would you have gone for? I would have gone... I've been placed a year, I'm like 35 or something. I was thinking of some of them for 30s. But not 45. Jesus. <sighs> That's a lot. Yeah. There's too many is, is, is what that is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't realise as well that there'd they'd been... A, that includes a Hell in a Cell match that was... Uh, a dark match on Raw once. Oh, wow. Really? Random. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like um, Del Rio, Cena. It was like a six-man Hell in a Cell that was a dark match. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Imagine being there for that. Yeah. That would be incredible. It would be incredible, wouldn't it? No, Raw was shit, but uh, it was a six-way uh, Hell in a Cell match <laughs> before, so that was great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Finn wow, Steel, congratulations, you Finn. one nil up. Yeah. Still all to play for. Another eight. Oh, that was a, that was a great round. Yeah, how did he get? Yeah. Enjoyed that. Question questions went Plus, too hard. Let's be fair here. That um that last question was you know it was going one of two ways, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. My the, the reason I did it like that. My fear was was that you would you would say something like forty two and then Finn would go forty eight and it'd be like oh you're both within three oh shit mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why I did it like that. Um. So yeah. Cool. Advantage Finn. Congratulations, Finn. Thank you. Well Thank done. you very much. Well done. Thank you. Good stuff. I'm going to have to delete. I'm going to have to try and remember now which questions I did and get rid of them. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, you got like well little done. cue cards with them on, or? They're on a, they're on a Word document. They're just, and I'm just flicking in between. I need to uh, oh. solve them, really. Cameo. We have a cat. <laughs> a cat meow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yep, it. The absolute disrespect. He just wants to be on the podcast. <laughs> Don't blame him. Well famous. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> All right. Really enjoyed that round of the eliminator. It was really good. Yeah. That was awesome. Good solid questions. Really, really good. Well done, Steve. Mm. Thank you. Right. Um, so there's been a lot of wrestling this week, but we're gonna try and condense it down for you. Um, try. I'm because trying. you know, we we always sort of which we, we appreciate obviously that you guys do watch it as well. Um, I know some of you watch more than more than others, so we we're going to try and break down uh, the good and the bad uh, from the week. But really, you know, talk about the the main points. We're you know in an effort to to slimline this just a little break bit more. Break it down. 
Yeah. Break it down. That's it. So, cool. the week in wrestling, highs and lows. Steve, take it away. Cool. So I'll start off with a little bit of uh, news. Uh, so Kane and the great Carly are going into the 2021 Hall of Fame. Kane... Round of applause for the great Carly, please. <laughs> <laughs> great Carly. Great yeah. Carly. If you could barely walk, that would be messed up. Can totally get why. Uh, can totally get why Kane's going in. Great Carly. Yeah. Um, the thing with the Great Carly, right? Is you know he brought a lot of eyes to the product from a different part of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know he, the guy's a, a big, big star in in India. Yeah. And let's you know he, he has been the world champion. Yeah. Um, you know he's he's been in so many high profile matches. Now don't get yeah, look. I'm not under any illusions here that the great Carly is the greatest wrestler of all time. Say what? We all know that he is. Okay. Tim Mahal, exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. He's yeah. Um, but you know, yeah, he, he, he had a, he beat the undertaker for the yeah. title. I think it was him. He beat for the title. Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, the great Carly's in there. He probably deserves to be in there. Everybody knows who he is. Yeah. You know, um, people have taken the piss out of it this week, myself included, but um, I'm not better than that. I have. But, it's, <laughs> um, but you know it's fine he's in there and that's cool yeah yeah um some people have been kicking off uh saying that that kane shouldn't be in it before the undertaker look let's let, there's two things there firstly it's a hall of fame for a uh predetermined scripted entertainment so it's not a real hall of fame um and mm. Yeah, what the surely, fuck? if you want, to, <laughs> if you want to induct the Undertaker, surely you do that in front of a massive crowd, and there is Absolutely. no crowd at the Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, um, just pre-taped Thunderdome reactions from Monday's Raw. Yeah, for, <laughs> for, for, um, yeah. You can imagine that yeah, for the seriously. Undertaker, the disrespect, it's probably the greatest ever. That needs to be done. When that's done, probably next year. Next um, year, yeah, it, it, it will be in front of a crowd. Yeah, um, I mean, surely you do it when WrestleMania's in Texas next, maybe. Yeah, what's that? Th- what's that? Two years time. Yeah, because there is one announced year? for Texas, isn't there? It's Hollywood next year, isn't it? Yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood next, next year, year, Texas the year after. Yes, yeah, so you do it the year after. Yeah. You surely you do it. Um... 100%. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, there are rumours, strong rumours. I don't think it's been officially confirmed that RVD is going to go in this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've um, read that. Yeah, I've read that's, that. That's, that's going to happen. Um, Again, worthwhile. Then... Worthy. Yeah. Worthy yeah. Oh, God, yeah. He's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, the only other thing on the Hall of Fame is that Batista has dropped out of this. Uh, dropped out of it. He was due to go in this year. Uh, sorry, last year, uh, but he's dropped out. Uh, scheduling conflict with him filming, and I imagine that with the strict guidelines that there are around, you know, filming uh, films or whatever it is that he's doing, uh, he probably doesn't want to be surrounded by loads of people backstage at a wrestling show. So no, and no also Ray WrestleMania is in Hollywood next year. Yeah, exactly. You know, Batista's obviously uh, a big sense, factory in Hollywood, so you, you, I think yeah. you probably induct him next year. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, biggest news of the week, and one that isn't a surprise, uh, is that Andrade has been released, and there is a there is no non-compete clause, so he can just turn up anywhere, anytime. Good. Yeah, wrestling. and that's great. I mean, I you know, I, apparently he's already in talks to, um, you know, go to another promotion, or, you know, I don't know where that would be obviously he's given no hints everybody's automatic assumption would be that he goes to aew now okay that's fine i can totally understand that assumption but you know i think andrade would do a really good job anywhere you know i think Uh, he could go back to mexico uh go compete for uh, ca sorry cmll or triple a and and you know do a really good job back there because he's loved there um you know he could go to new japan he could do have some really great views in new japan but, you know, on the flip side of that, he could go to, to AEW, which obviously they've got that working relationship at the minute um, with Impact and also, you know, with New Japan, Japan as yeah. well. So, mm. you know, he could he could go sign with AEW and still be a part of all three. So, mm. you know what? Fair play to him. More power to him. Great wrestler. Underused in WWE, as, you know, most are. Yeah. But, he, he, you know, the, the, what, what needs to not happen here is you fall into a a Rusev situation. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking when people were saying about him going to AEW. I thought, look at at Miro, but he hasn't done done anything. Yeah, the grass isn't always greener. Mm. No, no. I can't think of one memorable 
thing that Miro has done in AEW. Yep, yeah, okay, the, the the wedding segment was funny, yeah. but I don't understand the direction of the character they went with him. You know, surely you bring him in as an absolute fucking monster. You know, like the, the picture when he first came in was him like flexing and looking like a you know a mean dude. Instead, you know, you've got him pratting around with with Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford, and um, you know, I I don't. I, I think Andrade is is better than that. Yes, yeah. I agree. I agree. And, and I think it's just, uh, we, we've all said it, and I, I think it's massive, uh, massive ball drop by uh, by WWE because uh, he's just yeah. superb. You know, great in-ring, great look. You know, not not the greatest on the mic, but he's charismatic, so he gets away with it. So, I mean, he got away with it in WWE because he has Zelina Vega there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Exactly, yeah. She so, was his mouthpiece. And he wouldn't surprise me to see both of them turn up wherever the together place. apparently yeah. um uh thea trinidad is her you know is her name um zelina vega she's um also sort of uh inked a short-term deal with the promotion mm. so it wouldn't surprise me to see both of them turn up somewhere yeah. together yeah yeah definitely, definitely. that's and a just phenomenal get for, each, oh, yeah, for wherever well, they go i mean yeah. if you think this time last year we were at the start of the pandemic you know the start of uh you know raw and Smackdown and NXT being filmed in front of no crowd. They were there, and obviously quite a few. There was quite a few people staying away. They didn't want to yeah. be involved. Um, those two, Zelina Vega and, and Andrade, they they carried whatever show it was they were on. Raw. I, I feel like Zelina Vega single handedly um, made Raw uh, a better show during she the did. pandemic. Yeah, because she was the, the lockdown phenomenal. era, as they call it. Yeah, she was superb. Yeah. And Angel Garza was involved in that as well. So yeah, mm-hmm. the, it, and then twelve months later, gone. So it's uh... due to bullshit stuff as well. I mean, yeah. just because wrestlers want to make money on Twitch, oh fuck me. Yeah, you know what? It I, you, you could talk about it till the cows come home, but it, it's such a stupid and pathetic reason to get rid of yeah. to get rid of somebody so incredibly talented. And now another promotion is going to benefit from from her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Zelina Vega is obviously. I think it's it, you know really instigated a domino effect to a degree because yeah. you know you got Zelina Vega gone now Andrade's gone and you know you would assume that Alistair Black, Black yeah. will be well you know won't be too far behind. So um, stupid, yeah. stupid, stupid from WWE to uh, to let these people go. Yeah, I do admire uh, Vega like, standing up for herself. You know, I want to yeah, one hundred percent streaming on Twitch. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I can do what I want. I'm independent contractor. What the fuck that means? You know, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I want, but... Yeah. Independent contracts but can't work anywhere else or, or even have your own Twitch channel. That's yeah. just, it's just a joke, isn't it? It really yeah. is. You have to pay for it and travel and medical stuff. It, may, it, it makes yeah. it so difficult to like WWE at times. Yeah. I mean, these decisions that Vince McMahon and is, you know, the people in his ear, you know, that they make, it's, it's mind blowing, really. I mean, but hey, look, they're going to turn up. We're still going to get to enjoy them oh, yeah. as, as, as on screen characters. You know, I. Do think Andrade probably will go to AEW? Cool. Yeah. Okay. With yeah. with Selena Vega. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Cool. Uh, hopefully pushed pretty quick. So yeah. Uh, moving on to uh, Fast Lane, uh, which was last week. It was like it was about fourteen weeks ago. <laughs> um, so I'll just quickly go through this because we've obviously all all watched it now. So mm-hmm. uh, on the pre-show, Retribution looks like they have split. Woohoo! Thank God, but I <laughs> do think we might get. Is it Mason Nutsack or whatever his name is? I think they T-Bar. might become a tag team. Nutsack, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. that choke Which slam one? To the two big ones. Did. Yeah, T Bar and Mason. Yeah, they could become a tag team. Get rid of the mass. Change the names. Yeah, make them a tag team. Yeah, I like that. I like just that change the names back. Yeah. Huh? Just change the names back. Yeah, you know, yeah just take the mask yeah. off and take, change the name. I mean, Dominic Dijakovic. Everyone already knows who he is, mm-hmm. and. um Dio Madden. Uh, it all, Dio Madden. That's it. Yeah. Dio so Madden. you know he was he was on the Raw announce team for a little while and was yeah. actually doing a decent job. And obviously not good enough for Vince, but <laughs> um, I like um, you know Dio Madden. If he's going to be in a tag team, he needs to be with somebody that can really work properly. And I think Dijakovic is fits that perfectly. Yeah. Do I want to see them as a tag team? Not honestly, not especially because I, I don't see them dropping the gimmick yet, the Retribution gimmick. No. Yeah. I think they'll hit the reset button on it and maybe tr- try again. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. But um, keep, the, keep them t shirts, though. <laughs> yeah, t shirts are cool. Yeah. 
And yeah, yeah, definitely. The engine team. So the split, the split came after uh, Ali lost to uh, Riddle on the pre-show. Mm-hmm. Um, also on the pre-show, and we won't do the what was Seth Rollins wearing because this will be very quick. Um, he was wearing a horrendous suit that looked like a five-year-old had painted on it. <laughs> Like a camo, um, but... as, as someone put in the Discord, it looks like uh, it looked like what the Dudley Boys used to wear. Oh, yeah, those, yeah. It was just turned into a suit. <laughs> yeah, awful, bloody awful. Again, Seth, come on, sort yourself out. <laughs> I think WWE have acknowledged it as well, haven't they? Like he's been looking, yeah. been looking on fire since he come back. Like no, he just looks like an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> so there's definitely um, going to be a Seth Rollins drip T-shirt soon. I'm yes. sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure for sure um i really enjoyed uh nakamura versus seth i thought that was a good match that was the yeah. the best match of the night at that point uh the tag match before i think was before that it was was uh largely forgettable the women's tag match yeah um and that just kick-started uh finally kick-started the bianca belair and um sasha banks feud going into wrestlemania sasha banks being a heel again which is good it might be yes yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not even um, sure why why they even turned her face. She's such an unlikable person. <laughs> just because just to get away from Bailey. Bailey's an awesome heel. Um, turn her face for yeah. a bit, get away from Bailey, and I'll turn heel again as soon as possible. Sasha's a natural heel, like <laughs> yeah, but she's just a dick. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I, I I do genuinely believe she's a detestable character in real life. Harsh. That stone the Stone Cold sessions with her is awful. <laughs> I I, I literally turned it off after 10 minutes because of how she was on it. And I love those shows. Um, you know, another great one with Randy Orton, but the Sasha Banks one is terrible. You watch it, you'll I'll cringe. Get, I'll give it a watch. I'll give it a watch and see how far I get into it. You, yeah, you won't get far, believe me. It's all, it's it's bad. <laughs> Good best of it. I even tweeted about it. I even tweeted a bit. I, yeah, I, I, remember like, you, I remember you saying, yeah. 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 Just not a likable character. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> a weird ending to the Big E and uh, Apollo match. I'm not really sure what happened there. But some people said it was a bit of a botched ending. Oh, yeah. uh, Big E did win, but we are going to get that match at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, Drew beat Sheamus, so that's good. Drew's getting some good momentum going into WrestleMania. Great match. Um, World Cup's predictions from us, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we agree. I thought that. As he, as he pinned him, my first thought was, we are just absolutely useless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rubbish. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, uh, interested to hear your thoughts on this. The Fiend returns. So, as, as I kind of predicted on the pre-show, I said that The Fiend would come back in some way. Uh, you he, called it to be fair yeah pretty, I, was, I wasn't far off uh so he put the fin- he put a finishing move on randy orton um which then allowed alexa bliss to straddle randy orton <laughs> lucky randy and get the pin which uh apparently has angered randy orton's wife <laughs> um, yeah something to tell her it's not I, real I, I i wouldn't worry uh mrs orton i mean you're pretty fine yourself so don't worry about it <laughs> Uh, Come at me, Randy. I'm not fucking scared. I'll stun you. I'll stun you in the middle of Tesco if you want, mate. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah, you're going to be walking around Tesco, and he's going to be he's going to have one of their masks on. He's going to yeah, glowing mask. He's going to be like, I heard what you said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, out of nowhere, milk everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the Austin uh, Booker T. Uh, it will be like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So but good. no. Um, what 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 are your thoughts on the theme, the new look? Obviously, we kind of predicted that he would look come back and he'd be all burnt. Mm. Um, me personally, oh, I'm not sure about it. I mean, I'm I'm not. I know that this might be a bit of a weird link, but I'm not overly into sort of horror and stuff like that. So that sort of stuff just looks a little bit overly ridiculous to me. But then I have to sign and kind of remember it's wrestling, and <laughs> wrestling is ridiculous. Yeah. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Um. I liked it personally. I'm, you know, I'm all about spooky, stupid stuff in wrestling. Um, mm. I like the stupid effects. I like, you know, I love like the Firefly, Firefly, Fun House match. Uh, I made it last year. Yeah, um, I did as well. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, it's stupid. It's wrestling. I love it. I, love I still think the Finn character is really cool. I still think it's it's great, and you know, Bray is he's he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I like the new Burt mask. Not sure why he was wearing like like generic vest. 
Um, yeah. I mean, surely he's got to change the clothes, though. Yeah, I would have so. But yeah, I mean, if I like it's, it. you know, he's, if his other garms are you know, totally fucked, just, <laughs> you know, go to Beetlejuice Online or wherever he bought his uh, <laughs> <laughs> previous gear from and just like get some new stuff but uh, me personally i'm not a big fan of the um the burnt gear i thought i think the mask looks cool but i really liked it before so i feel like they perhaps um made it more ridiculous than perhaps it needs to be uh but i'm i'm very much sort of pro original fiend look yeah same yeah i mean this is fine i mean i i hope the original look comes back i don't want to see him as this forever um because you've got to believe he's winning at WrestleMania. Yeah, surely. Yeah. I think people yeah, are hoping sure. for another five play by house match. Me too. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I think it'll be cinematic, their match. Do you think yeah. it will be? I don't think it will or, be. Or pre-taped. Yeah, which is weird because there's a crowd there. Why would it not work yeah, as well? With, with, with Mania having a crowd, I don't think we're going to get any of that this uh, year. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 Maybe not. Uh, I think it'll be weird. Like their match before was weird when, you know, like when they had all the maggots and whatnot in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Um, yeah. I think we'll get something weird. It won't be like a traditional one-on-one, you know, no matchup no. without any stupidness. But it's fine. It is what it is. It's it's wrestling at its um, stupidly brilliant best. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Good description. Uh, and then the main event of the night and match of the night, uh, definitely. Eventually, um, Reigns does beat Daniel Bryan. Mm. But there was a lot going on before that. So uh, just to just to kind of sum up, basically Roman Reigns did tap. Daniel Bryan did make him tap. There was a, a lot of shenanigans going on before that. But Edge then attacked Daniel Bryan with the chair. Jay, Jimmy and or Jay was also involved. Um, so this is Edge kind of officially turning heel, yeah. um, which is fine. Um, I really yeah. like this match. Finn, I know you, you, you described it in our group chat as a potential match of the year. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, just the way everything went down. Um, yeah. Yeah, so good. Edge, you know, Johnny Heel cost him throwing the match. Roman went tapping mm. out. Um, yeah, Jay getting involved. And or Jimmy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just everything worked really well. And the good like storytelling. And just a good match in yeah. general. I really, really liked yeah. it. I, th- I thought the storytelling was great. Obviously, Daniel Bryan showing off his technical capabilities. Roman Reigns showing that he's strong. And all that. I thought it was a bit slow to start. Um, I thought it was a good match, uh, given what potential matches we've got, even in two weeks' time. I would hope that that isn't match of the year. <laughs> I'd hope there are better matches, you know, for the rest of the year. But a, a great match and definitely match of the night. Yeah, for sure. I think it's probably definitely one of the matches of the year so far. I mean, yeah, you know, there's yeah. always. I mean, Jesus, Takeover's got Walter versus. Champa and oh Cole versus mm. O'Reilly. I mean, yeah. if those matches yeah. aren't better than that, then I'd be very surprised. But, yeah. you know, for, for WWE sure. so far, you know, yeah, okay, probably was match of the year. A lot going on. Uh, maybe too much from my enjoyment, but I understand why. You know, I understand what it's setting up. Obviously, it's setting up the triple threat at WrestleMania. Um, but it, it was fine. Yeah, I mean, you know, the correct result, uh, all, it's basically all to lead to the triple threat of WrestleMania. And that is, it's, that's literally yeah. the long and the short of that match. It just so happens to have a good wrestling match, you know, to set yeah. it up, which is fine. Um, quick question for you guys, for, for both of you though. I mean, what do you think of these, this, this stuff that's been said this week about WWE officials worried that Edge is looking <laughs> older every week? Yeah, that's stupid. I, I don't buy that. Yeah, that's not sure. Not sure about that. Myself. He doesn't. <laughs> he looks fine. 40-something-year-old man looks 40-something. Yeah, that's mm. you know, and it's stupidly ripped. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he looks great. I don't get it. I don't know. What's the issue? Yeah. What's the issue? Yeah. yeah. No, uh, I'm Hogan not sure was, about that. They, they put the belt, they put the WWE Championship on Hogan when he was um, older than what Edge is now and looked older than Edge is now. Look about 18, so this, yeah. this, sort of, <laughs> this sort of stuff with Edge looking older, that's crap. I mean, that's yeah. so stupid. Come on. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Okay, I mean, overall, I thought it was an okay pay-per-view, good main event. Nakamura and Rollins was was good as well. But I yeah, um, thought, it was, thought it was okay. I would give it a, a C grade. Yeah, that's probably fair. I mean, it served its purpose as a filler pay-per-view before WrestleMania that, you know, was ultimately pretty unnecessary because I think everything that was done on the show you could have done on 
TV? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But, you know, at the same time here, I, I understand that WWE probably feels that that amount of time between pay-per-views is too long. I disagree personally, but, you know, I'm yeah. not a businessman. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I'll just whiz through uh, the weekly TV, really. So, um, on Raw, Lashley defeats Sheamus, which I think pretty much takes him out of the, the title picture now. Um, we had... Uh, Rhea Ripley making her debut. She turned up to confront Oscar after she defeated Peyton Royce. Uh, where Rhea in a Ripley, good match, by the way. Yeah, yeah that, was good. A, that was a really good match, actually. Yeah, um, uh, Rhea Ripley actually confirming on the mic that the reason Charlotte is away is because she has COVID. So yeah. that's kind of squashed all them rumours. Unless she hasn't got COVID. Oh. <laughs> she probably has. Yeah, I think um, she said on Twitter she does, yeah. Uh, Miz officially challenges Bad Bad Bunny to a match at Mania. So, you know, I mean, we, we called this at the Royal Rumble, so it was always going to happen. But I yeah. still think it should be a tag match. Um, you know, yeah, I still I think Bad Bunny needs a tag match um, yeah. to protect yeah. him more than anything else because, you know, celebrities usually do have tag matches, whether they're but then, know, multi-man or standard tag matches. Isn't uh, Morrison injured? Oh, is he? I think he is. Yeah. Oh, is he? That makes sense. I think. I think. So that's. So that was probably the the plan, and it's nixed the plan. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah. Tr- I'm sure I've read that. Might be wrong. I might be wrong. Um, I think uh, he might have got injured. Yeah, I think he might be right. Actually, yeah. Yeah, because he hasn't wrestled. He's been on TV, but he hasn't wrestled. It's one of them ways. Like he can walk around fine, but he couldn't. He's not cleared to wrestle, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, was he injured in the triple threat at the Royal Rumble? I think so. Or the Elimination Chamber. Sorry. Oh. It might have been... Well, yeah. There's a triple threat at the Elimination Chamber, wasn't there, for the uh, for the United States Championship? Yeah, because he won the Battle Royal on the pre-show. Or yeah, something. yeah I think four, he was injured. Four-way match. He won a four-way match on the pre-show, then he was in the triple threat, and he and he, he took the pin, I think, and he lost. Yeah, uh, I think and, so. I think and, he either uh, got injured just... there or the night after. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So that probably explains that. I agree, it probably would have been better to be a tag match, but... Um, yeah, you don't want to. They'll both be involved in some way. I mean, Priest will be there, and Morrison will both the will be there. They're both on the promo picture for it. So, yeah, yes. Um, Drew defeats uh, Cedric and Benjamin in a handicap match, so keeping that good momentum going for Drew. Cool. Um, then you had uh, Sheamus attacking Riddle backstage with his scooter. So, oh, yeah. are we getting Sheamus into the US title picture, or was he just? Yeah. Thinking, yeah. I want to just smack this guy. It'll be uh, yeah. no. I think it's yeah. I think it's going to be Sheamus versus Riddle at WrestleMania. Yeah, cool. Sure. I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. I think no Sheamus has been doing some really good work recently. Like probably his best in a long yeah. time. Yeah, really. uh, since the bar split up and yeah, yeah. I think I th- I think you know if he's going to push for a championship, mid card is fine for the meantime. I don't want to see Riddle lose it. If I'm being honest, but. Um, if it's going to go on anybody at the minute, Sheamus would be um, not a horrendous choice. No, it yeah. wouldn't be the worst worst choice. No, definitely not. Um, but yeah, there we go. And then uh, we also will finish the night on uh, Fiend and Orton having their segment at the end mm-hmm. um, with the Fiend standing tall, looking all burnt and shit at the end. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And not a terrible episode of Raw. No, it was, all no, right. it, wasn't. We'll it, it was good, and it, and it actually had direction, which it needed because we are actually only two weekends away from WrestleMania. So a lot of these, uh, a lot of these matches needed a kind of a push along. To yeah, that's happening at Mania. That's happening. It's all. It's yeah. all kind of. It's like the floodgates have opened up because now it's just. Oh, now we've got this match, and now we've got this match, and oh bloody hell, that match is happening. So it's all. You know, two three weeks ago, it felt like Mania didn't really have much of a card. Mm-hmm. Now it is looking stacked, and I don't even think it's it's not even finalised no, anywhere near no, no, being no, finalised, no, no and way. it looks absolutely stacked. Um, it's going to be great. I'm re- Jim, the matches that uh, they've advertised um, they look, look great so far. They look really, good. really, really good. So uh, yeah, I'm starting to get excited for WrestleMania now. I mean, we've, we've yeah, been sure. we've been very critical of uh, yeah. WWE and the way that they've the way everything has been recently for good reason because Raw's been terrible but you know they do always pull it out of the bag when it comes to pay-per-views Fastlane was fine uh, but WrestleMania's looking um, looking 
very exciting and it's going to be great to see actual fans back as well so i think we're i think we're in for a real spectacle i do yeah, yeah hopefully cool. i think it'll be i think it'll be good and actually i thought it was i thought it was quite cool at the end when uh you had the Fiends music, you had the fire playing, the red lights, and like Alexa Bliss pointing at the sign. I thought that looked really, that was a really cool, really cool look. I thought that yeah, was definitely, a, yeah. a good way to end the show. It looked uh, looked good. So yeah, mm. decent episode of Raw for a change. Um, NXT, um, Bronson Reed defeated LA Knight. Um, so that's probably just going to keep going on and on that one. Yeah. Um, Finn Balor cut, a, I thought, a great promo uh, after he confronted Karrion Cross in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was really good. Really good promo. Well, from both guys, really. Um, next week, I think I have this right, we have a 12-man battle royal, and then the final six go into a gauntlet, and the winner faces uh, Gargano for the North American title at Stand and Deliver. Stand and Deliver! Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, First mention. I think that's right. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah that, 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 right. that does make sense. Yeah. So I think I think there's something. Yeah, something I mean, is happening night one, and then I think something's happening night one, and then night two is when um, they fight Gargano. Sure. That's right. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we'll yeah. see on that one. Should be good. Looks like you know. Should, should should be decent, some decent guys in that. So, uh, yeah, all good stuff. I think Pete um, Dunn will be the winner there. Yes, mm. yeah, hope so. Definitely hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. God. Yeah, I don't think you're getting your uh, Daniel Bryan match, unfortunately, mate. No, yeah. I don't either. So I'm gonna keep, One day. I'm going to keep banging that drum until it eventually does happen, though. Yeah. Is it going to be the new Ken Shamrock's coming back? Is that what it's going to be? be. Yeah. <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> It could be uh, there's a bit of context to that. So basically, um, Ken Shamrock obviously left what early, well, late '99, early '99, something like that. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I was I've just banged the drum for ages that he was coming back. Raw Rumble 2000 never happened. So I, we just carried it on for years. And it years. was that's, that's ev- the It was that. every pay per view for about two years. I think Ken Shamrock would come, and then it just just came never came back. Yeah, it never, <laughs> yeah, it never came back. So he just came back to yeah. Impact as a 96 uh, year old man and uh, started wrestling there instead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Walter squashes Drake Maverick, and then Champa challenges uh, Walter to Ooh. a match at Takeover Stand and Deliver. Stand and deliver. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for the UK Championship. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be really good. That should be brutal. Thing with that, right? Night one. Uh, so that's on night one of Takeover. And then the night after at NXT UK, I forgot what it's called, the Prelude or something like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're, they're advertising Walter defending the UK Championship against Rampage Brown. Oh. So I'm going to assume that Walter just wins and then potentially loses against Rampage. Although I can't see him losing against Rampage. No. As great as Rampage is, by the way. Yeah, I hate when they do stuff like that. <laughs> like the uh, Gucci Bay Championship match, like the next night we have Jordan Devlin versus. You know, um, Trent Seven, Trent Seven, yeah. and like, well, he already announced that's going to happen, so he's not going to lose it on NXT, is he? No, yeah. it's just my head in. That's yeah. such such a standard WWE thing to happen. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it really does suck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then just a couple of a uh, couple of notable bits. Um, we had uh, Dev- uh, Devlin versus Kush- was it Devlin versus Kushida? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. Escobar comes down partway through the match. Um, and then at the end of it, the two of them square off. And then Shawn Michaels comes out. Yeah. Gets a, a ladder from under the ring. I thought this was really cool. Slides it in the ring in between the two guys to basically say, look, your match is now going to be a ladder match, which will be excellent. It'll be an insane. Be a superb oh, match. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So basically, obviously, this has... Um, you know, similar sort of implications of Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon from WrestleMania 10, where they both had an Intercontinental Championship. And, right. Um, I like it. So um, obviously these two have both got Cruiserweight Championships and I expect them to put on, oh God, an incredible match. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I think that would be superb. That could be your kind of sleeper match of the night. That could yeah. be the one that really, really yeah. uh, surprises you. Um Michaels and Adam Cole eyeball, eyeball each other uh, backstage. 
unfortunately, uh, that match, you know, can't, mm. you know, it, unfortunately, if, if Shio Michaels was 25 years younger, <laughs> that's that's dream match. But, yeah. you know, please Apparently. don't do it. Please Apparently. don't do it, Sean. <laughs> well, he to make up um, for that time he went to Saudi Mania. <laughs> that can't be his last yeah. match. <laughs> well, he's come, he's come out and re- said he regrets it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, he almost had the perfect retirement, but never mind. Okay. The good thing um, for me is that they're bringing out um, a Shawn Michaels oh, yeah. action figure from uh, like a bold Shawn Michaels action figure oh, so, in the gear that he was wearing at Saudi Mania. Yeah, sweet. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Um, and then there was the contract signing for Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly, mm. which will be awesome. I mean, takeover's looking ridiculous. I, it's looking, it's yeah, it, it's again. I mean, we've probably said this now for the last five years, uh, maybe. It's like, yeah, but yeah, well, takeover could eclipse WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, it, <laughs> really it's good. looking, it's looking really good. Um, yeah, there's uh, some really, really good matches to look forward to there. Yeah, and so much good stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll quickly whiz through um, AEW. So uh, some good promos from Britt Baker and uh, Pinnacle. Uh, some yep. Britt Baker, excellent on the mic. Uh, so mentioning, good. Mentioning Mick Foley's name. Ooh. All people. Still uh, we'll get an appearance from Mick Foley at some point down the line? I, I did Probably. wonder this, yeah. Maybe. I don't know what his association is with WWE right now. Uh, probably isn't one. No, I've, so, I've no idea. I mean, I, I you know, he, he, they pops up every now and then on Raw, but he hasn't done for a long, long time. No. Um, no. Sometimes turns up at Christmas in a backstage promo dressed as Santa or something like that. Yeah. But that hasn't, you know, I, you know, I, I, I like seeing different people turn up. You know, yeah. I think it's great. There's no yeah. problem. No, no problem there. Um, I think the, 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 for me, the two best uh, matches of the night on, on AEW. So you had Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid versus Young Bucks and Cutler. Great match, as you would mm-hmm. expect. Just, Lots of spots, lots of super kicks, lots of flips and shit and dives. Amazing. Really good, good stuff. stuff. Yeah, really, really good. Um, and then John Silver versus Darby Allen for the TNT title. Nice. Really, I, I, I really yeah, enjoyed really that good. match. I thought it was good. Um, Silver... I really enjoyed um, I really enjoyed Omega versus Seidel as well at the start. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that opened the night. That was uh, mm-hmm. that was a good match as well. So it was a it was a solid solid episode of uh, of AEW. Um, and I, I just I do really like watching Donna. I like the fact that they at the start they just get straight into a match. You know, mm-hmm. there's no twenty thirty minute promos or, or you know breaks and loads of breaks and stuff. Um, they build for the following week. They announce what's going to be happening the following week on that show. Um, I just think it's all round. It's just a really well really well produced show, isn't it? I yeah, it's, it's really really good. Really good yeah. Um, Darby Allen did beat John Silver, but then afterwards Matt Hardy attacked Darby Allen, and there was just this humongous brawl uh, mm-hmm. in the ring at the end. So the Dark Order were there, uh, Matt Hardy's guys, whatever they're called, Sting, Darby Allen, they were all there. So, yeah, um, that's something to keep an eye on going forward. Matt Hardy versus uh, Darby Allen, that would be that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, be I, don't, really, I don't really, really I don't really have any interest in seeing Matt Hardy take the TNT Championship off. No, him, but... certainly not. Certainly not. Um, no, but no, it was. I know I've, I've I've skirted over AW there and basically given it two minutes, but it was a good show. You know, it served its. Yeah, purpose. it was. Um, we saw the in-ring, you know, debut of, of Pinnacle, and they they won quite comfortably as well. So, mm-hmm. uh, and we're going to get Christian Cage versus uh, Kazarian as well. Yeah, next week. Yeah, that'd be good. Next week. So again, nice. that'll be good. Uh, Christian Cage's uh, in-ring debut. So good. Yeah. It's good. It builds for next week. Makes you want to makes yeah. you want to watch next week. It's it's good. I still tease awesome. the dissension for Brian Cage and Team Taz as well. So, um, they, I, I, you know, with the tease of Brian Cage breaking away from them. So that'd be interesting to see how that develops as well. Brian Cage could be a huge star if booked correctly. Mm. And you know, the, I feel the same with Lance Archer. Even though I'm not a, as big a fan of Lance Archer as no. I am of Brian Cage, but um, they've got some potential mega stars. I mean, Wardlow for me as well could be, you know, the face of AEW. You know, was their champion, yeah. and there's there's a lot of potential in that roster for uh, some huge superstars to be made. The the one thing coming out of Dynamite that's a little bit of a uh, little bit sad is that John Silver is now injured. Oh, oh okay. That sucks. Uh, so he's out for a little while, but um, 
yeah, I mean, all round a good show again. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally on to SmackDown. So Daniel Bryan, uh, sit down protest basically at the start. Yeah. Saying I'm not I'm not moving out of this ring until I get a rematch. Um, he suggests to Adam Pearce that uh, you have Edge versus Reigns night one. And then the winner faces him night two of WrestleMania. Edge and Reigns aren't down for that. And the theme throughout the night is trying to convince Adam Pearce to do the right thing. Um, the thing is, you can't have Edge turn up night one of WrestleMania looking 46 and then have him turn up on night two of WrestleMania looking 78. So, no. you know, it's so, just a real tough one. So, you know, yeah, it's one. a tough one. You can't, I say, I mean, he's getting older by the day, you know. Yeah, definitely. Thought, I mean, yeah, know? I mean, that you know, who, who'd have thought no the time one. was a thing? Yeah, no one else gets older by the day, apparently. Oh, he looks uh, older every week. It's such a fucking it's stupid a f- thing to say. Yeah, it, looks, <laughs> it's it's so if, it looks older every week. Yeah, it's called life, you dickheads. Anyway. <laughs> hey, if, um, I have, if I have a 28-pack like Edge does when I'm 40-odd, I'll be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not happening for me, for sure. Um, no, nor me. <laughs> Might happen for Finn, but it's not only for, for me. It's definitely you. happening for Finn. Yeah. Skinny head. Oh, it's Skench over there. Skench. Skench. <laughs> Skench. That's a title That's of the podcast. Title. Yeah. There you go. Uh... <laughs> With Finn's head on Brian Cage's body, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. They're bothered. There we are. <laughs> Dar- Darby Allen's legs, Brian Cage's <laughs> body, and Finn's head. That's too much effort. Skench. <laughs> Skinny legs wearing cream slacks and loafers. <laughs> like the uh. shittest creator wrestler of all time. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, Rollins versus Nakamura again. Rollins won, so a uh, good way to uh, you know just bury Nakamura a little bit more. Mm. Um, Cesaro attacked Rollins after the match and then attacked him again backstage, swinging him around. After Rollins said, he's never going to swing me ever, ever again. And there he did. He just did it. And yep. then that match is now happening at WrestleMania. Who'd have thunk it? Good. Mm. Um, Good, though. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Two two great wrestlers. Just uh, having a brawl. Um, Apollo pins Big E in a six-man tag. I thought it was a good match, actually, the six-man tag. So it was yeah. Street Profits and Big E versus uh, Otis Gable and Apollo. Yeah, and Apollo picked mm-hmm. up. The pin, pinning Big E. So, uh, so again, what, yeah. what you've got there is that forwarding two two matches for yeah, Mania. Yeah. So obviously you're feuding. Sorry, you're uh, you're forwarding Apollo versus Big E, which is definitely going to be happening for the IC title. And then you you know you're also you've got two of the tag teams there that are involved in the tag team picture as well. So yeah, I yes. mean because yeah. the SmackDown tag titles will be a multi man. I would imagine. Well, multi tag team. Yeah, yes. probably. Yeah, I'd have thought so. I'd have thought so. Um, and then. <laughs> Sami Zayn announces that he's releasing his documentary next week and that YouTuber Logan Paul is on board and he will be at SmackDown next week. Good. Now, Great. Good. Now, this has a couple of things awesome. here, doesn't it, for us? So, yeah. Logan Paul, I guess for me, you know, he brings eyes onto the products, 23 million YouTube subscribers. He's famous in that world. But not only that, <laughs> Brett Thomas... Your predictions have come true, mate. <laughs> yeah, it happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought? He was right all I, along. I woke up to messages this morning saying I cannot believe it. John John Scott messaged me this morning with that video of uh, Sami Zayn advertising Jake Paul coming next week to SmackDown. Just with Logan, I cannot Logan believe Paul. it. <laughs> Logan. Yeah, whichever. Whichever. Yeah. Logan, Jake. Both the same. Dave, um, Sid. Dave Paul. Yeah. <laughs> either way, he's got. Either way, Paul they've Paul. got two. They've got two first names, and it's weird. But um, it's. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I just cannot believe it. This guy has been in our comments and in the Power <laughs> Four guys comments for the last couple of months. You know, he was in our comments for um, the NXT Takeover pre-show before the pre-show, possibly even the Royal Rumble. You know, talking about Chamber, Paul. Fast Lane, and he's been in all of them. Yeah, talking about which which one is it? Logan, is it? Yeah, Logan. Paul. Yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. about Logan Paul, and we've just been laughing it off, saying, "Yeah, yeah, great. It's never, it's not going to happen," and just trying to dismiss the comment basically. But now we owe we owe Brett an apology. So you were right, we <laughs> well, were wrong. We're dickheads. Do we? Because 
I, I have a theory, and I mentioned this before we uh, started recording. I actually don't think, although he's acknowledging it on, on Twitter and everything, um, and I would imagine that in this day and age, he would have had to have given WWE permission to use his, uh, his image and all of this sort of thing. I actually don't think he's going to turn up and it's going to play into this whole conspiracy theory thing. I think he'll be there. You do? Yep. I think he'll 100% be there. I think WWE have thrown money at him. Uh, They know that it's going to bring eyes to the product, which it definitely is. You know, very smart business here from WWE recently. You got Bad Bunny and all the stuff that, you know, he brings to, all the eyes that he brings to the product. And Jake, um, sorry, Logan Paul's going to be be the same there because... um, Jake Handel Logan. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Jake and or Logan. <laughs> yeah, Jake and or Logan Paul is going to be uh, is going to bring eyes to the product as well. So I do think he'll be at SmackDown, and I do think he'll be involved at WrestleMania in some capacity because it obviously looks like we're headed towards uh, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn um, in some form. We are heading towards yeah. this. I think that's been that's been made official for Mania. Yeah. As well. Oh, okay, okay. Just please, yeah, please, so please don't that. have Logan and or Paul into what his name is. <laughs> no, Logan and or Jake, Logan not and Logan Jake. and or Paul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever stupid name is. <laughs> please don't have him involved in any way in the match at WrestleMania. Just give us Kevin and Sami Zayn no bollocks, no Logan, Steve, Paul. No, no, no. no. The, the only way I want him involved is is a stunner. <laughs> yeah, someone give Kevin him a stunner. Evans. Yeah. I think he definitely takes a stunner in, uh, you know, definitely. Yeah, it's not WrestleMania. But I, no. I, I, def- I definitely see Logan Paul at WrestleMania. Nope. I see him at WrestleMania, but I just wonder when... Just not in the match, though. Yeah, it does. Not in it the match. It does. I, I think he'll be at Mania. I just, I, just, I, I just have my doubts whether he'll be there next week, storyline-wise. You know, yeah. I think not, he'll be there, and I think he'll be at WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh, the Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens is so good. I don't want it. I don't want it to ruin it. It is, but Sa- the, the, yeah. Sammy Sami Zayn tweeted Logan Paul. That's where this comes from. So Sami Zayn tweeted Logan Paul. Yeah. Logan Paul responded. Obviously, WWE have seen money in this, and you know now we're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get that segment with Logan Paul involved. Yeah, fine, excellent, <laughs> sure. fantastic, whatever. Um, <laughs> Such a WWE thing to do. It really, really is. Yeah, oh for sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, celebrity and all of that. Um, yeah. Bianca Belair slaps Sasha Banks as a bit of payback for what she did to her at Fastlane. Mm-hmm. Fine, you know, let's just let's just have that match now, um, and hopefully Bianca Belair wins. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of campaigning for that to be main event of one of the nights, uh, night one. I think it's on. But uh, what do you think to this? Um, I would like to see that. Yeah, you've got. Um, because I believe that uh, Io Shirai versus Raquel Gonzalez is going to main event night one of uh, TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be against it, you know? I love the feel there. Cool. I did bring up the sample again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to be against it, you know? Both times are absolutely a great match. Both times are wrestlers. And yeah, why not? I mean, the bit, the build hasn't been great, but they've no. been on SmackDown every week since Rumble. So you know, but again, it, go, it goes back to that that have thing that of event. have it main event one night, yeah, and then uh, it didn't need the bullshit. Io Shirai no, and Raquel Gonzalez hasn't needed the bullshit. Yeah. It was simple. Uh, Io, you know, basically, I want to defend my title against you. Raquel's like, yeah, okay, I want a title shot, and <laughs> then that match is made. Yeah. Again, it's simple. Bianca won the Raw Rumble. I want to challenge Sasha Banks. That match is made. You don't even need to build it. It's just happening because mm-hmm. it has to happen because fucking Bianca Belair won, won the Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Yeah. God damn it. Edge is the one getting fucked over here because he's <laughs> the one who's now got to have a triple threat match. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Guys the Royal Rumble looking for older every week. Yeah. Yeah, no. By the time he gets a one-on-one match, it's going to be 106. <laughs> uh, so they'll Looking. Add, yeah. So I'll add Reginald to the match with Shasta Banks and Belair. And make it triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Don't. <laughs> don't, want, don't want old Reg coming down with no socks on, fucking winning the women's title. <laughs> so as you mentioned there, the decision has been made that, uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan does deserve another shot, given that uh, Roman Reigns did tap at Fastlane. Uh, and all the other connotations and all the other things that have been mentioned. So it's been decided that at WrestleMania, it will be a triple threat between Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, and Edge. Mm-hmm. And at the end, Edge just went apeshit with a chair and 
smashed to be honest, I'm amazed he, being so old he can pick a chair up yeah, yeah well no, I, right. I, it, it shocked me he, he was kind of like what's the chair <laughs> like, Mr. like Mr. Burns you know when he picks yeah. something up that's not heavy <laughs> it's exactly um, the same yeah yeah so uh, yeah he, he just went around and smacked everyone including some uh, ginger official that came out yeah oh, yeah and, ja- and Jamie Newell. Yeah, Pat Book. Pat Book got a, a clip to the clip to the uh, <laughs> clip to the shoulder with a steel chair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. So yeah, we're getting a triple threat. Um, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure uh, what the purpose of it is. You know, I don't know if they think Edge can't can't hack a match with Roman Reigns because you know of him looking older or whatever the fucking absolute nonsense is that they were talking. Yeah. I don't know, but you know it's happening. That's fine. You know, I think you've probably got to the the the, the thinking probably is they've got, you've got to differentiate it a little bit. So night yeah. one, obviously we've got a singles match between uh, Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre, and then you know the Sunday we're going to have the triple threat for the Universal Title. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I think once once it became clear that um, Sheamus was out of the title picture on Raw, that we were probably going to get a triple threat on the SmackDown side of things. Yeah. I think once that happened, it was. Uh, I think if it had been the other way around, if Sheamus had still been involved over on the Raw side, then it would have just been Reigns versus Edge, and they'd have um, done something different with with Daniel Bryan, maybe. But um, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot to be excited. A lot to be excited about. You know, WrestleMania is only you know a couple of weeks away now. Um, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do WrestleMania week because you know we were going to put content out. Uh, we'll try and put content out every day but now there's wrestling every day Pretty so much. you know i think what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the pre-shows and stuff for, for nxt and wrestlemania um yeah so we'll figure it out and we'll we'll be we'll be around in some capacity that week doing stuff yeah, yeah definitely Quick little bit of wrestling news that um, I remembered before we before we sign off is um, Impact is moving back to Thursdays, Thursday. which all but confirms NXT going to Tuesdays because Impact doesn't want none of NXT. <laughs> no. Rightly no. so. Don't blame them. No. no. So now we have we have mainstream wrestling every night of the week. <laughs> cool. Cool. So um, Raw Monday, NXT Tuesday, AEW Wednesday, Impact Thursday, SmackDown Friday. Yeah. Interesting. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a lot of wrestling. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah also, and just, obviously, you know, go on, sorry, Finn. Uh, we could say something I just remembered. Um, last week I mentioned, um, we can do it next week now if you want. Um, not the bad game of score games that I played for game of score. Um, oh, no, let's go. Let's do it. Want to do it now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, we've got a little list here. Um, I'll go through it quick. I, I looked at games you know, on Magic Critic to see which one's at the lowest at my list. Um, so a lot of you. The first one, the least bad on the list, is uh, Splatterhouse, which is a reboot, attempted reboot of an old franchise from the Mega Drive era. Um, not a completely. Oh, ter- is that a reboot? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a completely terrible game. It's just you know, you went around punching nudes, cut them up with chainsaws. It's fine. It got the sixty-two on Metacritic, but that's a nice easy one thousand points. Um, I love the games back on the on the Mega Drive back in the day. So yeah, gave that a play. It was fine. <laughs> uh, next one was uh, Captain America Super Soldier coming in at 60 on Metacritic I remember virtually nothing about this game um, I think it came are out. these games available for us to play now? I doubt it but, I mean you could probably buy it like a pound of eBay and give them a play on the Xbox One probably maybe who knows okay <laughs> um, I've got a Series S though so I, I can't buy any games I can't buy any discs <laughs> ah of course yeah good point <laughs> <laughs> They'll be, they'll be sent. They'll find something for you. Um, then we've got uh, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Whatevers. Um, 58 on Metacritic. Turtles. That's the one. Or Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, if you were from the UK back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't say Ninja on TV. No, of course not. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a very generic when man beat, beat things to death. Uh, 58, Metacritic. Pretty crap. Yeah. Uh, speaking of pretty crap, another game at, at 58 on Metacritic. Uh, another attempted reboot of an old franchise, uh, Alone in the Dark, um, which was a very poor uh, horror game. Um, just, yeah, stupid story, stupid gameplay. And yeah, it was just not very good. But okay. each achievement list. Um, 
And then we have uh, Lost via Domus, uh, based on the popular TV series Lost. It was crap. Oh, God. Coming at 55 Metacritic. Not a good game. At all. Surprising. It's shocking. Excuse me. Uh, then we have Avatar The Last Airbender, um, based on the anime of the same name. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is supposed to be absolutely fucking awful. Yep, not great. Yeah, it, it takes about 10 minutes to get the, the thousand, doesn't it? Yeah, 54 it minutes. Take long at all. Yeah, super basic. Um, then we've got Tied for first place or last place, which everybody look at it. Um, CSI Hard Evidence, based on a <laughs> CSI TV show. Very a boring, basic, uh, point and click game. Yeah, easy, easy list. I didn't even play it, obviously. And yep. the other one is Terminator Salvation, based on a movie <laughs> of the same name. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. 48 on Metacritic. <laughs> Not a good game. Yeah, so I knew that that was, that was an easy one. I didn't realize you played that. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. 48 on Metacritic is the lowest. Right. I'll see if I can get any of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see if any of them are available digitally. They might be. You never know. You never know. Avatar, yeah, Avatar might, be. might be. Avatar might be. Yeah. Avatar might be. So yeah. Avatar, Lost, Alone in the Darks, Battle House, Captain America, TMNT, Terminate Salvation, and CSI. Hard evidence. CSI. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We'll have a look and uh, we'll revisit this again. Definitely. Yeah, yeah for sure. Cool. For sure. Yes. Uh, right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 137 of the Games and Graps podcast. We will be back next week with episode 138. Uh, we will have a brand new round of the Eliminator. Yeah. Myself oh, yeah. versus Finn. Finn is currently 1 0 up. Uh, we will have Games of the Month, which will make its <laughs> long awaited return yeah. with its amazing music. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> And obviously, we'll be talking about the the chaos that is going to be WrestleMania week, which will be the following week from when we record the podcast. So lots mm. to look forward to, lots to enjoy. But uh, yeah, we are the Games and Grats podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single weekend across podcast services everywhere. 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 And YouTube.com forward slash Games Grats and Facebook.com forward slash games and graps you can find our content on powered for tv channels as well mm -hmm. and go follow us on social media at games and graps that's twitter facebook and instagram for now my name is sunny g and i've been joined by finn Steele. thank you goodbye and steve goodbye we will be back for a brand new episode next week catch you later guys goodbye See thanks you. very much goodbye Fuck you, Tom Nook, piece of shit.